Hello, welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. Chapter 241. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. W.H. What? Lieutenant General's expression was forbidden, his face instantly pale as paper. Lu Yun, what do you want to do? Lieutenant General Jiwei stepped back, a sulky liquid dripping from his crotch. Why? Now I know I'm afraid. Chin Luo approached step by step, a cruel smile conjured up at the corner of his mouth. No, no, Lu Yun, you let me go, and I can give you what you want. Lieutenant General slumped to the ground with a panic on his face. Oh, you give me everything I want. Chin Luo raised his eyebrows, his eyes on the back of the mask were like the deep blue of the sky, a deep color. Yes, what you want, I will give you everything. The lieutenant general seemed to have caught the life-saving straw, his face loosened for a while. He seemed to be pleased, walked to Chin Luo's feet, and then stood up on his feet. How about, GG, I can give you a lot of benefits, all the artillery fire behind me, even these five search warships, if you want, I can still be your eyeliner. The lieutenant general's smile was a little crazy, Chin Luo looked upset in his eyes, but did not explain. Lu Yun, thank you, it should have a lot of value for you. We can reach an alliance. I will bring you a warship from the marine headquarters, and you will use the warship I want to sail into the sea. Way done. When the time comes. Grand Line is the world of the two of us. Lieutenant General Jiwei's complexion softened a little, and continued to elaborate on his grand plan. How about it, is it a special heartbeat? You can think of it, as long as the two of me work together, I can assure you that I have countless opportunities and reasons to get countless warships from the marine headquarters. The lieutenant general said something crazy. At this time, he still didn't know it at all, let alone a warship. The battle Buddha no longer wanted to see him. He had already given an order to the guard and was not allowed to take any further steps. That sounds interesting. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes, as if he was really interested in his proposal. When Jay Wei saw the drama, his voice was even higher. That is, if I become the One Piece by then, I will make you my most powerful fighter. Together, I will be invincible. Advertisement. Zhe Wei blinked, and Chin Luo's mouth evoked a cruel smile. Am I going to be a fighter? Yes, you are below one person and above 10,000 people. This is what you deserve, Lu Yun. Chin Luo chuckled at the words of position, and his smile was icy. And the position is still naive to think that Chin Luo means to praise him very much, and even complacent to ask Chin Luo not to be cautious. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes, like a dangerous beast, the smile on the corners of his mouth gradually deepened, and his big hands squeezed Gezi's neck tightly. Sounds good, but unfortunately, I prefer to be alone. Chin Luo's words are like profound ice beneath the ground, with the chill on his face unabated, like Satan walking out of hell. What do you mean? In Jiwei's words, he finally heard the danger in his words, and his expression tightened. I mean to kill you. Chin Luo's words were stained with a bloodthirsty smile. No. No. The grid retreated step by step, shrinking into the depths of the ship's armor. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Do you care about being able to do this position? I, I can give you the position of Deputy One Piece, with this position, you can be on an equal footing with me. The lieutenant general raised his voice, his expression a little frightened, but according to his intuition, he could completely believe that he would be happy if such attractive conditions were open to Lu Yun. Even said that he would be grateful to himself for it. This is simply the best solution. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes and stared at the lieutenant general in front of him. Oh. It seems you still don't understand. Way done. What I want is not your shit status at all, because in my eyes, those things you call are not worth mentioning, they are just shit. Advertisement. You. Dot you have a big tone. The lieutenant general's expression condensed, you are only supported by a small mermaid island now, why? You think you are invincible in the world. How old do you think you are? Chin Luo's broad palms pinched his neck, and his complexion gradually became sullen. I tell you, the One Piece will be mine sooner or later, but it's just a matter of time. The lieutenant general's complexion turned purple. You're so loud, even if I want to be the One Piece, I have to conspire, and you dare to speak so boldly. Me, it seems that you, a mere lieutenant general, have not yet understood my strength. Grid's expression tightened. Your strength. Without my help, it would be a fart if you don't pass away. Do you really take yourself seriously? Chin Luo's complexion gradually became embarrassed. Interesting, it was the first time he saw such a tough person and dared to fight him like this. In this position, he really thought that he needed to bend him. It's really interesting. 
Chin Luo narrowed his eyes, and the smile at the corner of his mouth widened a little further. You better not regret what you started to say. After he finished speaking, the coercion on his body was revealed, like a beast that was released, his eyes locked tightly on the body of the lieutenant general. After a few steps back together, the faces finally overflowed with fear. You, how can the pressure on you be so strong? You are not as weak as you seem to be, you, your strength is actually very strong. Chin Luo gradually approached, like Satan from hell. Oh, you are really good. Advertisement. Who told you that my strength is average? Huh. As soon as Chin Luo's voice fell, he slammed a punch on the soft abdomen of the grid, and the abdomen of the grid was immediately distorted. It's like being slandered by the most ferocious juicer in the world. Pain. Unparalleled pain. The face of the grid is like earthy color, and the lip color is like a piece of pale paper, looking haggard and weak. What's going on? How can you be so powerful? The lieutenant general's expression tightened. He had guessed that Lu Yun's power was very powerful, but he had never expected that Qin Luo had such a powerful punch. According to his estimation, this punch can kill a marine admiral at 2.7. In fact, this is the position of the lieutenant general. Qin Luo's punch just now slapped marine admiral at most. I only blame this position, the strength is poor, and I actually want to let Qin Luo be her subordinate. It's really unreasonable, wasn't you very good just now? An ironic smile appeared at the corner of Qin Luo's mouth, and the aura on his body was like Satan from the depths of hell. Since you don't have the strength to fight anymore, let me see you off. Qin Luo exhaled deeply. The face looked like a fierce beast, showing a fierce hatred against Qin Luo, but due to the problem of strength, he couldn't move him at all. This is really ironic. Qin Luo gradually accumulated strength in his palm, as if he was going to use the final blow to punch him into the eternal hell. Chapter 242. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The eyes were blurred. When the position opened his eyes again, the target was the mask on Qin Luo's face, adding a bit of strangeness under the white daylight. It's really a shocking bag. Qin Luo wriggled his mouth. He thought how powerful this position was, and he would be fainted by Qin Luo's simple coercion. What do you want to do? Looking back at the position, his body was trembling slightly. The man in front of him is too scary, he really can't think of a way to deal with it. How are you willing to let me go? The fear of the position fell to the highest peak in an instant, so that his complexion was a little distorted. Why not, Lu Yun, I can be your eyeliner and help you ambush in Marine Headquarters, as long as you let me go. For Zhe Wei, this is already his biggest concession. After all, in the eyes of most pirates, this is what they dream of. Let alone a lieutenant general, if it is just an ordinary marine, in the eyes of the head of the pirate group, it can play a big role. What's more, according to the meaning of position, he intends to obey absolutely. In the eyes of Jiwei, this is not a loss-making business anyway, he is 100% confident that Lu Yun will agree. Oh, Qin Luo squinted his eyes 15 times, and the dangerous aura from his body radiated suddenly, like a beast that was released, which was daunting, it's a pity. What a pity, Grid's complexion changed, I mean, it's a pity that you only said this now. Qin Luo said that the clouds were light and windy, and behind the face covered by the mask, there were a pair of cold eyes. Ah ha ha, what a pity, what a pity. Seeing that what Lu Yun said was a pity referring to this, Lieutenant General Ji Wei heaved a sigh of relief. I originally planned to do this, I originally planned to submit to you, Lu Yun, you are so strong. It should be made a god. Advertisement. After a slight pause, the smile on the plane only increased. The reason why I said that you will be my subordinate is just to see your ambition. That is also my army. Now the misunderstanding is cleared. From now on, the two of us will be on the united front. Qin Luo felt disgusted for the first time when he heard how the position is still under the steps, and how he is still thinking about the situation after the two people cooperated. For the first time, Qin Luo felt disgusted. Idiot. As for Ji Wei, I didn't expect that Qin Luo was talking about himself, and the corners of his curved mouth widened a bit. Huh. A fool. Yes. When the two of us join forces, the One Piece and the Marine government are all idiots. Ha ha. Zhe Wei laughed dryly, his eyes lighted away from Shin Luo, leaving a chill. What an idiot, thinking about asking me to be his subordinate, wait until you fooled you, and then make good use of it, then the entire Marine government will be mine. Lieutenant General thought so. I don't know that in Shin Luo's eyes, the Lieutenant General is like a puddle of shit. Saying shit is still upholding him. After all, Qin Luo has one of five elders eyeliner in his hand. Compared with a mere lieutenant general, it is not too weak. The idiot I'm talking about is you. 
Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chin Luo's voice was cold, and he pinched Jiwei's neck with one hand. The latter's complexion condensed, struggling like a fish lacking water. Chin Luo lost his patience, his palms became stronger and tightened gradually. Which, Lieutenant General squeezed out these words laboriously. Do you think everything I did before was bargaining with you? Chin Luo narrowed his eyes and quickly approached him. What do you mean? Lieutenant General's complexion turned purple. Chin Luo curled his lips. I mean, from the beginning to the present, my purpose is not to ask for anything, because the promises you so-called are really ridiculous to me. Chin Luo's words were slightly ironic, and the pressure was even greater. The strength in his palm gradually increased. Only after a moment, with a click, the lieutenant general's neck snapped. Advertisement. The expressions of the people who were observing the scene tightened. This flowing cloud. I have long heard that his approach has always been defiant, but I didn't realize that he was so bold. Although I was shocked, I still understand that Grand Line speaks by virtue of its strength. I cannot blame the lieutenant general for being too weak. I can only say that it is Lu Yun, which is really too strong. 1. The marines all sighed in their hearts, and saw that Chin Luo choking to death is as simple as squeezing an ant. Even Whitebeard couldn't help being shocked. He took a step forward, the wounds on his body were still piled up, gritted his teeth and asked Chin Luo, why are you helping me? If it were in the past, he would definitely snorted coldly, after all Lu Yun had snatched his devil fruit. This account, he Whitebeard can always remember. It's just that this time he is really a bit unclear. Even the mental power that Whitebeard has tried so hard to deal with, did not expect to be easily pinched to death in Lu Yun's hands. It's incredible. But the hatred between them has not disappeared. In love and courtesy, Chin Luo shouldn't help him. Chin Luo's lips curled. This problem, let's wait for all these sea kings to be solved. He pointed behind Whitebeard, who turned around, and a huge sea kings was facing him with a mouth wide open. Without the shackles of position, it is like a beast that has taken off its reign, exuding monstrous hatred. Such sea kings can be a lot stronger when they first contacted. Even Whitebeard couldn't help being shocked. It seemed that Gezi was using his fruit power to nourish these sea kings. His idea has not been implemented yet, the huge sea kings in front of him uttered a lengthy 237 exclaim. The voice is rough and chaotic. It is really frightening. Advertisement. And the crew on the Whitebeard pirate ship, clutching their heads tightly in the hysterical roar of sea kings. His complexion was pale as grey in an instant. Uncomfortable. There are thousands of insects and ants crawling in the brain. Father. What is this? Okay. So powerful. It's even more uncomfortable than the mental ability of the position just now. Kill me. Kill me. The crew on the Whitebeard pirate ship was holding their heads in pain, their faces turned purple. Chin Luo's face tightened, and his aura instantly dropped to freezing point. Whitebeard was by his side, even if he couldn't help his face changing. It's horrible, this power. Is this the consequence of position manipulation? It is unimaginable. If Lu Yun didn't solve the position in time just now, and let this group of sea kings grow rapidly, it would be hard to imagine how far it would be. Whitebeard used the power of shock fruit and hit sea kings with a big palm. Unexpectedly, there is no response at all. His eyes were wide open, and he used 70% of Whitebeard's power, as I said earlier, and he was unscathed. It seems that this time, it must be true. Chapter 243. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Close your ears. Chin Luo snorted, the majesty on his body is like the emperor who has fallen from the sky, which makes people disobey. Everyone listened to his words and closed their eyes obediently. The corner of Chin Luo's mouth evoked a weird smile, his eyes clasped tightly on the group of sea kings in front of him, and the coldness on his body radiated suddenly. Come and give it a try, I'd like to see to what extent your abilities are. The corner of Chin Luo's mouth evokes a piercing smile, and his eyes are cold. I saw Sea King's roar, like a wailing from hell, the sharp teeth between his lips resembled the sharpest weapon in the world, and his mouth was grunting outward. A snake-shaped Sea King's attacked Shin Luo, revealing the huge body hidden in the sea. That's, the Snake King of the West Sea. A marine trembled. It can't be wrong, it's the Snake King. Obviously he is the overlord of Suosuo village in Shihai, how come to the Grand Line? The person beside him was a little stiff. Even Gray from Shihai said so it seems that he can't be wrong. Marines have different impressions of sea kings from the pirates. The pirates are in their eyes and it is marines' natural mission to catch them, but the sea kings are different. The strength, speed, and ferocity of sea kings are not comparable to pirates. Although in the eyes of many pirates, sea kings are just a piece of food, 
but in fact, there are only a few pirates who are not afraid of sea kings, and those who can be killed in one punch or even less. Not to mention, it is the West Sea Snake King who dominates in front of you. For a while, there was only the sound of turbulent tides on the sea, and the other sea kings saw the West Sea Snake King spit out a snake letter, and they were cleverly behind the scenes. Visible the power of the West Sea Snake King. Advertisement. The West Sea Snake King opened his mouth wide, and every piece of snake scale on his body was trembling violently, like a beast from a fierce prison. A violent sound wave came out from its mouth, and the air melted into the eardrums of the people present. His. Marine was the first to bear the sound of the West Sea Snake King, and fell to the ground with his head in pain. Simply, everyone in the Whitebeard Pirate group was ready after waking up at Chin Luo's point. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes, and Whitebeard reminded him, it should be the impact of the spiritual fruit of the position. Chin Luo nodded. His learning ability is remarkable. After speaking, Chin Luo stepped on the air and ascended to a high place, facing the blood bowl of the West Sea Snake King with no fear at all. I saw the West Sea Snake King stretched its white teeth and snorted, Chin Luo's entire body was swallowed into his abdomen. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. This. Good. So strong. Everyone present was stunned. The strength of Luyun is well known in the Whitebeard pirates. Whitebeard had suffered from Luyun's loss, and the pirates on the ship naturally understood Luyun's strength very clearly. Now it was swallowed by the rumored Shihai Snake King, which is not surprising. Flowing clouds. Whitebeard gave a long cry, seemingly unbelievable. After a while, he calmed down, and narrowed his eyes to stare at the Shihai Snake King. No, it will not be as simple as everyone has seen. Advertisement. He thought like this, after the West Sea Snake King swallowed Chin Luo, his abdomen buzzed like a boiling hum, and everyone present was silent for a while. Even the other sea kings behind him are eagerly waiting in the back. Time passed by one minute after another, slowly and long. What is going on? The pirates swallowed their saliva and asked tremblingly. Although Lu Yun has pitted us before, he is not bad. One of them woke up. He was basically referring to what Chin Luo asked them to cover their ears just now. Looking at the lifelessness on Marine's side, it can be seen how powerful the deterrent power of the West Sea Snake King is just now. In this way, the people on the pirate ship even added a good impression of Chin Luo. Lu Yun helped us just now, and it was to solve the misfortune of the Shihai Snake King, someone said softly. Yes, although there have been festivals before, we are not all people. Father, shall we cut open the belly of the Shihai Snake King now and rescue Lu Yun? When Whitebeard heard the words of the people behind him, his face was relieved, a pair of vicissitudes of life tightly locked in front of the abdomen of Shihai Snake King. Father, what's the matter? The pirate on the back noticed that something was wrong with Whitebeard and inevitably asked. Whitebeard reached out his big rough hand and stopped them. Hold on, he said. Whitebeard's words just fell silent, and the whole air fell silent. The sea water under the feet was boiling wantonly, like a pot of boiling water, and the West Sea Snake King was buried in it, with a pair of cold eyes slamming tightly. Advertisement. This is. Whitebeard tucked his eyebrows, and the West Sea Snake King in front of him seemed to have been ignited by the fuse, and his whole body trembled uncontrollably. After a while, its hard abdomen seemed to have been hit hard, with a few more punch marks. What's going on? Shihai Snake King's abdomen was attacked, like from, from, from inside. After waking up with two voices, everyone present instantly understood that Chin Luo, who had been swallowed, was showing his power. Will it really be Lu Yun? No. Impossible. How could anyone still live in the stomach of the Snake King Shihai? It is said that the stomach acid in his stomach is worse than sulfuric acid. Just three drops of it can destroy a warship. A few eloquent voices came, and the expressions of everyone present condensed. Just three drops can destroy a warship. How powerful is that? Thinking of this, even Whitebeard's complexion changed. Although it is only speculation, Luyan's image has already stood up in their minds as omnipotent. Even if it is difficult to accept, if the other party is Luyun, it will not be particularly strange. How can there be any copper walls and iron walls? It's just the West Sea Snake King digesting it. A bunch of idiots. A marine jumped up from the marine warship, and he braced his head strongly. Just now, the West Sea Snake King's roar brought silk mental power to the crowd. The unprepared marine is a bit miserable. Because he was born in Shihai since he was a child, he has the tenacious ability to resist this kind of magic sound. The marine stroked the railing of the ship under his hand, and his expression was cruel. When the West Sea Snake King digests, the strong corrosive stomach acid will cause a strong counterattack from the food. Moreover, 
The Snake King's abdomen is inherently hard as steel. What do you call Lu Yun? Fight back inside. Don't be funny. It's just that Lu Yun will be stronger than other foods, and the reaction will be more rapid. Hearing what Marine said, all the hosts present were disappointed. Chapter 244. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. No, not all. It was Whitebeard who was speaking. As the leader of the pirate on one side, Whitebeard's extraordinary insight ability is also remarkable. It's just that his words were so vague that everyone present couldn't tell what it meant. Father. I don't understand, are you saying that Lu Yun is not completely digested, or is it a reaction elicited by digestion? Hearing the doubts coming from behind, Whitebeard didn't say a word to explain, the vicissitudes of life seemed to be able to see more at this moment. Little ones. The corner of Whitebeard's mouth suddenly raised a smile, and his eyes stayed on the abdomen of Shihai Snake King for longer. After a while, he yelled. All of you cover your ears, if you don't. Before Whitebeard's words were finished, Shihai Marine, who had just spoken frankly before him, snatched his words, Whitebeard, you are really frightened, what are you expecting? Could it be that Lu Yun really has a monstrous ability to learn from the Snake King? Escaped from his corrosive ability and pierced his stiff body. Nishikai Marine seemed to be telling the funniest joke in the world, resisting physical discomfort, and laughed exaggeratedly. What happens? Several Marines woke up one after another on the ship's board. The West Sea Snake King's attack was so swift that they will come back to their senses now. Little ones, listen up. The marine opposite is example 767. If you don't, you will be at your own risk. Whitebeard Hockey dropped a word, and the opposite marine looked at each other for a while. Whitebeard seemed to have intentionally slapped Shihai Marine in his face, repeating what he said just now. If you die, cover your ears now, and don't even know how you died then. After Whitebeard finished speaking, his mouth was stained with a penetrating smile. After listening to the opposite marine, his face was choked, and then quickly raised his hands to cover his ears. Advertisement. After all, compared to the pirates on the Whitebeard pirate ship, they have more personal experience of the power of the West Sea Snake King. After all, the people on one of their marine warships just now were completely invisible by such sonic attacks. What a terrifying force that is. What are you guys afraid of? It was the former Shihai marine who shouted, and he faced the Shihai Snake King without any ambiguity. This West Sea Snake King will be quiet for half a month after eating food once, and will hide afterwards. Each of you will cover your ears and put your hands down like a silly fork. Don't be laughed at by a group of pirates. Hearing Saikai Marine's words, the faces of the Marines in front of them were slightly relaxed. With Zaikai Marine taking the lead, each Marine took off the hands covering their ears. The corner of the former's mouth evokes a sarcasm. How about, Whitebeard, do you want to disturb our military spirit with this? Don't dream. As soon as the voice fell, the smile at the corner of Whitebeard's mouth widened. The marines behind them even laughed mockingly at Whitebeard. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. When everyone focused on Whitebeard, the West Sea Snake King made a small buzzing in his abdomen, as if someone had thrown his breath on the sandbags, and only heard a muffled sensation. This is, when the voice in the abdomen of the Shihai Snake King became a little bit worse, everyone present reflected it. What's the matter? The expressions of the people present changed. Shihai Marine then withdrew his attention, his eyes gleaming like a vicissitudes of life. What's going on? Shihai Marine roared, and saw a wave in front of him, boiling with heat, seeming to whine lowly for some reason. Position, you won't lie to us. The Marine behind him exclaimed, and saw that the face of the pirate of the West Sea turned black by the sound of the boiling sea. Advertisement. Quick, quick, he said. Cover your ears quickly, and the abdomen of Shihai Snake King behind him has exploded like a steamer. How is this going? What a powerful attack power. A kind of pirates are covering their hearing in pain, but this unsuspecting voice penetrates into their pores all over. And Chin Luo, emerged from a burst of dark yellow liquid, like the emperor from the night, all of which came out. Chin Luo patted the yellow liquid on his body, and the corner of his mouth evoked Jun Yi's smile. His appearance is imprinted in most people's minds today like a stunning bird, shocking everyone present. This is. Dot how powerful. Surprised, all the people Chin Luo appeared were on the Whitebeard pirate ship. Looking at the group of marines, their hearing was disturbed by the violent roar, and their expressions tightened. How is this going? A kind of pirates are all marveling at Chin Luo Chuiyu's figure, and only those who have experienced it firsthand can understand how terrifying what happened just now. After all, the West Sea Snake King has always spread fame but very few people actually see the deity. Even the marine who crosses the ocean, 
Grey who grew up in the West Sea just now has only met one side. I watched it from a distance. This is enough to see the deterrence of the West Sea Snake King. Now he couldn't stand Shin Luo's fluttering punch and was crushed to pieces. At this moment, Shin Luo hadn't expected that his deeds of defeating the Shihai Snake King would be divided into several versions and spread to Shihai. Of course, these are all later words. Shin Luo stroked the thing on his body and jumped in front of Whitebeard. Advertisement. On the other hand, those onlookers see kings, seeing that the most powerful West Sea Snake King was defeated, it was unavoidable to have a knot in my heart. Shin Luo smiled at the corner of his mouth, and the red robe looked strange in the sun. If you don't want to die, just roll now. As soon as Chin Luo's voice fell, the sea kings in front of him quickly escaped with thunder. Horrified. As for the marines, it goes without saying that even the sound waves of the West Sea Snake King can't resist, let alone the flowing clouds in front of them. When Whitebeard saw everyone leaving, he walked to Chin Luo's side. Flowing clouds. His expression is a bit old, and he is obviously full of spirits at this time, but he has realized the meaning of the term. There are people outside the sky, and the sky outside the sky, early on. He knows Luyan's toughness, otherwise he would not snatch devil fruit from his hands. But Chin Luo's performance this time really made him impressive. A trace of respect for Chin Luo floated in his eyes, and Whitebeard said, thank you. Chin Luo waved his hand, his voice was neither salty nor weak, as if he was saying something extremely relaxing. You don't have to thank me, Chin Luo lightly opened his lips under the surprised eyes of everyone. Don't forget, I took your devil fruit. What Chin Luo means is that since I took your devil fruit, I won't just watch your people get killed. With just a few words, Chin Luo didn't even know that he had buried an indelible impression in the hearts of the members of the Whitebeard Pirate Group. This West Sea Snake King is really powerful. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes, closely following the yellow stomach acid on the sea. At that time, Shihai Snake King's stomach acid was strongly corrosive. If it weren't for Chin Luo's physical body full level, he would not be able to withstand such a strong injury. Chapter 245. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Yes, the power of the West Sea Snake King is not something I can compete with. Whitebeard said in a calm and breezy way, it was unclear whether it was a compliment to the West Sea Snake King or he was emotional. Then, Lu Yun, thank you very much for today. Whitebeard said in his heart, Chin Luo in front of him was hiding under the mask with a handsome face, so that people could not see his expression. I said not necessary. Chin Luo's words were as light as tea, and his eyes didn't even touch Whitebeard. No, I understand what Lu Yun means. In your eyes, your help is due to the devil fruit that you took away last time. Whitebeard's voice softened a bit, even for Chin Luo's, robbing, at that time. It also turned into a takeaway. But I think you also understand how important your help is to the Whitebeard pirates. Whitebeard's words were extremely sincere, his eyes were soaked in the vicissitudes of life, and a few people could see through the charm. Chin Luo stopped his voice in due course, and did not stop him from speaking. If it weren't for your righteous action, I am afraid that even if I defeated the lieutenant general, I would be close to a group of sea kings. Your ability is really impressive, and indeed, you have the ability to turn things around. When Whitebeard's words came to the back, he was even a little excited. In all fairness, he has been around Whitebeard for so long, but he has never praised anyone so strongly. Although he knew Chin Luo's strength a long time ago, perhaps he really didn't expect it to be as difficult to resist as it is now. You saved the Whitebeard pirates, Lu Yun. After these words were eloquently spoken, they did have the power to warm people's hearts. If others listened to Whitebeard's generous words, they would be surprised. Advertisement. He was Whitebeard, who was once famous. To treat someone so humble. But he also inherited his kind and intentional temperament. It's really impressive. At the same time, it is enough to show how fast and unpredictable Chin Luo's strength is. Chin Luo's eyes turned a lot, but it was not easy to push back something, so he smiled and said, for the sake of this, I have to accept your gratitude, Whitebeard. Seeing him say this, Whitebeard couldn't help but feel relieved. And everyone on the Whitebeard pirate ship was shocked by Chin Luo's monotonous expression. Lu Yun accepted our apology. Everyone was excited. Another voice raised his voice. I said, Lu Yun is a loyal and courageous person no matter how you look at it. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Huh, but didn't you say that Lu Yun was going to leave our devil fruit? You were a treacherous villain. Quote dot dot dot. That is your auditory hallucination, he is Lu Yun. In the eyes of the members of the Whitebeard Pirate Group, Devil Fruit, which was previously blackmailed by Chin Luo, is really nothing compared to his own life. 
After all, the situation was urgent at the time, and dozens of fierce sea kings were considered a spectacle. Furthermore, there are lieutenant generals who are not enough to achieve success, turning the battle that originally had a chance of victory into death. In that case, Qin Luo's existence is more and more shocking like a savior. That is a kind of worship from the bottom of my heart, and thanks. Advertisement. Jia ha ha. Young ones, now we start to have a banquet, I would like to thank Lu Yun for his life-saving grace. It can be seen that Whitebeard is really ignoring Lu Yun, and the flashing admiration in his eyes is true, and being able to invite Qin Luo to stay and participate in the banquet has made Qin Luo a little bit more fond of him. However, he still instinctively refused. I don't. Hey, Lu Yun, I owe you this meal, the Whitebeard pirates. You can't just leave without eating. Qin Luo was pierced in his mind, and no longer shied away, but smiled and agreed. Little ones, prepare good wine and meat. The banquet begins. The banquet seems to be the nature of the pirate ship, it is just a moment, and the Whitebeard ship is already filled with a dazzling array of food. This cup is the 100-year-old wine that Dad asked from the hands of the pirate Shi Shi, Lu Yun, you have a good taste. Although the members of the Whitebeard Pirates group admire Qin Luo, they do not deliberately pay attention to some square rules. This is quite comfortable in Qin Luo's view. Qin Luo accepted their kindness, and took a sip of the wine in his hand. Brother Lu Yun, I don't need to be cautious here. I, Whitebeard, did what I said. Since I said I want to thank you, I definitely won't shoot you at this time. Seeing that Qin Luo didn't drink and eat meat, Whitebeard couldn't bear it. Suddenly said, but according to your strength, even if I shoot you, I'm afraid I won't get any good results. Qin Luo shows his face, he just thinks of Taotu and the others, and there is such a century-old wine, if Tsunade is there, he is afraid that he will get drunk. He narrowed his eyes and asked Whitebeard for a good bottle of wine. Now Qin Luo always feels that something big is about to happen, so he won't call them here for the time being, but he will use the wine to greet Tsunade and ask her to replace it. I am still looking forward to beating my legs and squeezing my shoulders. Thinking of Tsunade's red dress when he left, that's nothing more than the beauty of the prosperous age. Whitebeard laughed and waved his big hand, but he was completely generous. What do I take it to be, Whitebeard still manages the wine. Advertisement. A group of people played late into the night, Chin Luo avoided the noisy crowd and walked to the deck of the Whitebeard boat. The sea breeze was breezy, and even through the mask, he could feel the soft coolness. Zero. There was a stream of air surging slowly in the sky, as if it was foreshadowing something. Chin Luo's heart was a little uncontrollable from the very beginning, but he didn't say anything. He just looked into the distance and instinctively felt that something was coming. I think it's some kind of induction. But at this level of Chin Luo, he will no longer be suspicious. After all, in front of many things, the absolute strength can be compared with the full of scheming. All he has to do is wait. After one night, golden light beams sprinkled on the surface of the Grand Line. The sea breeze in the early morning was a bit cool. Chin Luo still looked into the distance, and the bad premonition grew stronger. Lu Yun, you have all been standing on the deck for the night. Whitebeard knew that Chin Luo's insight was extraordinary, but he wouldn't say much. Chin Luo tucked his eyebrows tightly, and asked Whitebeard in a cold voice, is there anything major happening today? Whitebeard was startled, thoughtfully, today, dot not. Before he could finish his words, a letter transmitting seagull hovered hurriedly over the top of the ship, making a weird call. It threw the newspaper in his mouth in front of Chin Luo's eyes and unfolded it in the sight of everyone. The light gray newspaper, with a line of large characters scattered on it, occupies an entire page. Roger was arrested. The former sea king finally died under the gun. Location Logue Town, executed in seven days. Chapter 246. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Roger, was caught. With an exclamation, everyone looked back. What happens? Roger was caught, are you kidding? In the eyes of everyone, Roger is an existence comparable to his own captain's ability. Now that the news of Roger's arrest is easily spread, it is no wonder everyone can't believe it. It's not unbelief, but this, it's really hard to convince the public. The thoughts in everyone's minds were unexpectedly consistent. This is not a mockery of Marine, it's just the strength of Whitebeard and Roger and others. At present, they are also well known. Take this time as an example, those who have the fruits of spiritual power have always been among the strong. The strong player, if he plays well, in Marine, he can even get a position above a lieutenant general without saying a word. Of course, it is unavoidable that the position is deliberately concealing one's true strength. After all, 
The fruits of spiritual power are very exhausting. Even if they are manipulated, they can't match the large number of people. And those with mental abilities, in addition to themselves in addition to the strength of the physique, without control skills, it is simply impossible to withstand a blow. Therefore, it is inevitable that the exposure of the fruit's ability will trigger a fight, and the practice of position is also a kind of self-protection. Just to say it again, Marine Headquarters sent a position to deal with Whitebeard in the future. If the position did not awaken the ability to inspire fruit at the last moment, it would not fall into a trap. Although the escape was entirely the credit of Chin Luo, it would be 10,000. In short, even if Chin Luo didn't help, what Whitebeard would do would be the same. Instead of being imprisoned in Marine Headquarters. Advertisement. This is also the last point of dignity as a pirate. Thinking of this, Whitebeard couldn't help but turn his gaze back to Chin Luo. Chin Luo has been standing here since last night, presumably he had a foreboding that something big would happen at that time. This refreshed Whitebeard's view of Lu Yun. He only knew that the man in front of him was powerful, but he never thought he had the ability to perceive. In fact, Whitebeard thinks too much. The reason why Chin Luo can have faint heart palpitations is only because of the huge killer buried in Five Elders the old bald man. Manipulation of telepathy is inevitable. The impact of this incident is so great that it can't escape the eyes of five elders, and the spread of information on the sea is definitely slower than the inside of Marine, so Chin Luo will have a major event last night. Feeling about to happen. Brother Lu Yun, did you notice this happening last night? Whitebeard couldn't help but ask softly. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. It was just his question, no doubt that the people on the ship could not be recovered. Even they will know about this matter. How did Lu Yun know? Last night they said that Chin Luo had been standing on the deck looking up at the sky, but they had never touched anything else. This is obvious to all. Thinking of this, everyone present could not help but take a look at Chin Luo. Yes, Chin Luo's words were calm and light, which made the unbelievable person even more surprised and opened his chin. You know, above this sea, the intelligence system is above everything, like an unarmed weak chicken. He appears in this sea and is a role that everyone can deceive, but if he has mastered the skills of heaven defying also it is a powerful intelligence system. Advertisement. In that case, even Whitebeard and other identities would give in three points. After all, above this sea, apart from strength, it is closely connected with a complete intelligence system. If there is no intelligence, no matter how strong a master is, he may be conspired to be defeated. Of course, an absolutely crushing existence like Chin Luo is the only exception. Chin Luo's three short words undoubtedly made the people present sit down, the huge intelligence system behind him. A man who can crush masters from all walks of life and walked out of the marine headquarters has a complete intelligence network behind him. It is not a big legendary myth on the sea. At this time, Chin Luo didn't even know. In the Grand Line a long time later, various versions of the strength behind Luyan's identity will be circulated. Of course, these are things to follow. Whitebeard's top priority is that he wants to see Roger. Chin Luo saw it through at a glance and said, would you like to let me take a look? Whitebeard's vicissitudes of life seemed to be covered with sorrow, before shaking his head for a long time. Roger and I are also friends in the hands of the enemy, fighting and killing to this level of love. Hearing that he is about to be executed, it is inevitable that he will be a little embarrassed. Quote. After a little pause, he seems to have seen something through. Roger's strength is obvious to all. How can Marine really do anything to him? I am afraid that this time, Roger himself made it out. Roger surrendered himself, and Marine is stronger. Characters will naturally brag everywhere, and they are the ones who personally captured it. If you know your confidant, Whitebeard has a deep understanding of Roger. With the understanding gained from fighting and killing, why doesn't Whitebeard know that this matter is far less simple than it seems on the surface? What? Roger turned himself in. God, is Roger crazy? Why did he turn himself in? Or did he get hold of the handle by Marine? Advertisement. In contrast, the members of the Whitebeard pirate group would be surprised a lot. It was really hard for them to understand why such a powerful person would condescend to Marine, and even gave up the dignity of the only pirate. Whitebeard let out a long sigh, but Chin Luo nodded with a little understanding, not bad. As the overlord of the sea, Whitebeard's analysis of Roger's behavior also won 9 out of 10. So, all of this is Roger's own choice. Presumably his crew knew the way he was going. Instead of standing by and watching his jokes, it's better to stay on the boat and mourn for him. Every word of Whitebeard is extremely deep, like a huge boulder, pressing in his heart. It is not difficult for Chin Luo to understand his position. 
If the person caught on board the Whitebeard pirate ship 2.7, he would definitely use all his weapons to save people. It's just that Roger was arrested. It's not that Whitebeard has a clear distinction between public and private. It's just that Roger is capable and he has always understood that this is his choice and how he will intervene. Thinking of this, the surrounding air gradually fell quiet. Whitebeard recovered from the lengthy emotions and faced Shin Luo. Brother Lu Yun, listen to what you just said, are you going to Logue Town? He noticed the sentence Chin Luo said before, will you let me go and see? Chin Luo nodded slightly invisibly. Yes, I want to check it out. After he finished speaking, Whitebeard's eyes flashed brightly. This time, if Marine dared to deal with it publicly, he must have done a 100% defense. Chapter 247. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. It is not so easy to rob people from the court. After all, killing a prestigious pirate in public is also considered a great prestige among the group of pirates. It can be said that Roger's move, even if his crew want to save, is definitely difficult, and the best chance of winning will be both sides. No one can reach the height, but Chin Luo said he wants to check it out. How can Whitebeard believe that Chin Luo is so simple to just go and see? If other people go to die, then changing to Lu Yun is boundless hope. Whitebeard's admiration for Chin Luo is more than a little bit. Now he fully believes that as long as Chin Luo makes a move, he will definitely be able to save Roger from the fire. This is definitely a scene that can be recorded in the annals of history. After a long time, Whitebeard suppressed the surprise in his eyes, opened his mouth, and squeezed out the words for a long time, Do you need us to escort you? Chin Luo naturally refused. No, I have a faster way. Whitebeard's complexion is as usual. His so-called escort really just wants to help Chin Luo. After all, that scene was unprecedented, and if I led a group of Whitebeard pirates to cheer, Lu Yun would be dragged down instead. Hearing Chin Luo's words, a pirate behind him laughed. Lu Yunshin, you are the only one who is qualified to say that there is a way to be faster than ours. After a whole night of getting along, everyone knows that Chin Luo is called, Lu Yun Shen. After all, his strength is obvious to all, and no one here will refute what Chin Luo said just now. Although Whitebeard is the overlord of one party, the performance of its ship is naturally incomparable. If an ordinary pirate says to surpass the speed of the pirate ship, I am afraid that he will think that the person is idiotic. Advertisement. It's just that the person who said this now became Chin Luo, and everyone agreed with his words. In other words, Chin Luo's height in their hearts at this time has reached an unparalleled level. Chin Luo smiled and said goodbye to Whitebeard. Melt water all things. There is a stream of water sliding by the ear, and it is warm and comfortable. There is still some distance from Logue Town here, but in Chin Luo's eyes, these are just moments of effort. After a while, he popped his head out of the sea again, and the ancient buildings in front of him made him decide that this was the destination he wanted to reach. Logue Town. The corners of his mouth buzzed, and the light flashed across everything in front of him quickly. The pirates on Logue Town are growing rapidly, and there are many ships docked along the coast. It can be seen how great Roger's deterrence is. It's no wonder that Marine caught Roger and did not choose to execute him secretly, but to execute his sentence in public. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. A typical slaughter of chickens and monkeys. Chin Luo stepped into a tavern with light steps, the old wooden door, the pirates inside were all fierce and evil. But if you leave the door of this tavern, the pirate must cover his eyes and ears. After all, this Logue town is currently being heavily guarded. If you want to see Roger's appearance, those pirates who come here should be careful. Although Chin Luo had expected it, the sudden increase in the number of people in front of him still made him a little surprised. The owner of the pub is a sweetheart. He poured a glass of good wine for Chin Luo and yelled at the people who came in one after another. Advertisement. Oh, this Logue town is lively now. Someone asked. Roger was really caught. The owner of the tavern laughed. I have reported everything, how can there be fakes? After a little pause, he seemed to think of something. This Logue town is so lively for the first time. It has gathered the heads of pirates from all walks of life. They all came from hearing Roger's reputation. What the tavern owner said was true. Even though Chin Luo had been on Whitebeard's pirate ship the day before, he could still perceive the restlessness of the outside world. On the way to use the melted water, Chin Luo also experienced the panic of the nearby island firsthand. Even the sea kings in the depths of the sea made a slight whisper. Visible influence. Indeed, as Chin Luo expected, the news that Roger was going to be executed immediately spread throughout the entire Grand Line. Including some famous pirates in the east, 
West, South and North Seas, they also came after hearing the news. They all want to witness Roger's power and prestige. Although Roger's ability is not a serious problem in Chin Luo, it is only on the Grand Line, which is very mentioning. As a result, famous pirates from all walks of life came to Logue Town in the seven-day gap. This is the same as Marine's plan. If you want to use this to kill chickens, you must make sure that the audience is eye-catching. In a blink of an eye, outsiders in Logue Town have already crowded the entire street. Even the tavern where Chin Luo was located was inevitably full of people. Really, really incredible, that, it turned out to be the pirate Grower. The big pirate who has offered a reward of 800 million in the legend. The hermit has always been burying his name. It was only because of a major event 10 years ago that he showed up and won a reward of 800 million in one fell swoop. Now it will appear in Logue Town too. Advertisement. Someone in the crowd kindly explained that Chin Luo's gaze fell on Grower, who had just entered the door, following the direction the people pointed. I saw that he was dressed in black, and he didn't look very conspicuous, but it was really possible that he was a hermit, as they said. Chin Luo couldn't find any memory of him in his mind, and he seemed to be a great figure. On the way when everyone said something to you, the Tavern 303 was already overcrowded, and Grower was silent in the crowd. Glower big pirate, why are you here? Are you here to save Roger? Someone in the crowd asked softly. Grower was silent. Chin Luo was quite interested at this time and wanted to see Grower's answer. If even Grau wanted to rescue Roger, that would really be interesting. There was no expression on Grau's stiff face, just like Satan from hell. He opened his lips, exuding the aura of staying away from anyone. I'm not a big pirate. After Grower's indifferent words, the entire tavern fell silent for an instant. Here, there are people who are better than me. Hearing Grower's answer, everyone disagreed. Although Grower's bounty had been said to be heinously high, there were still some outsiders, and Roger was there, not to mention the unprecedented news in such a flourishing world. It is not surprising that people with higher bounty can be attracted. Chin Luo squinted his eyes, and the corners of his mouth evoked a smile. Interesting, really interesting. If Chin Luo guessed correctly, Grower is talking about himself. On the other hand, Grower, the cold breath on his body is close to Chin Luo, seeming to guess everyone's reaction, Grower picks the spearhead back to Chin Luo with great interest. Chapter 248. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. And that person, right here. What? What? Sure enough, the response to Grower was the shock of falling over. What a joke. Everyone couldn't believe it. If there was news about the big pirates in Logue Town, they would still believe it. After all, Although Logue Town is not big, it can finally accommodate the existence of another strong man. But Grower said that there is an incomparable presence in this tavern, which is really unconvincing. It's not that everyone doesn't believe it, but that there is actually a pirate with a bounty of more than 800 million in this square inch, everyone is still aware of it. I have to say, it is beyond the imagination of everyone present. Grower didn't explain much, with a faint smile on his mouth. Yes, that person can hide better than me. After he wakes up a little bit, everyone knows it too, no wonder he can't find it. It turns out that he is a master, his hidden strength is unfathomable, and it's strange that everyone can't find it. Then, Glower, can you reveal? Dot who is the great pirate who is stronger than you? Someone dared to ask this sentence, and everyone present held their breath. Glower seemed to want to reveal Chin Luo intentionally, and smiled maliciously, that person is in a corner that you can all see, but all of you ignore. Following Grower's gaze, everyone fell on Chin Luo who was sitting at the bar. Chin Luo frowned slightly, very upset at the feeling of being calculated. Advertisement. The tavern owner was a little surprised. You, your bounty actually exceeds 800 million. It's no wonder that everyone can't find out. From the beginning to the present, Chin Luo seems to have an aura of hiding on his body. This is actually an easy move, but it will also decide whether to conceal the interests or not because of the strength of the strength. But since they were all stabbed by Grau, it won't help to suppress them. In an instant, Chin Luo fully released the breath of his body, like a ferocious beast, the evil aura on his body was difficult to approach. Good, so powerful. Oh my god, is this really a power that humans can have? Will he be celestial dragons? Chin Luo just showed the strength of his body, and then made the people present stunned. It's no wonder that they are weak, but in this highly tense situation, Chin Luo's sudden coercion will inevitably make people feel frightened. It was much better after a while. He's not celestial dragons. Grower's mouth had a seemingly non-existent smile, seeming to smile contemptuously. 
Chin Luo was extremely upset, his eyes were bitter, and he scanned Grower's body. The latter noticed Chin Luo's gaze, and the smile in his eyes only increased. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. I, I recognize him. The crowd shouted again, and the business was hoarse, with a slight tremor. He is the great pirate of Bounty Eleven, Lu Yun. As soon as he said, the air in the tavern fell silent for the second time. What? What? Just kidding. You can't go wrong, add the red robe, and the black cloud by the side. He is Lu Yun, which is called a god by the islanders of Mermaid Island he is the god of Lu Yun. The pirates all around took a breath. It's incredible. I can meet him here. Advertisement. This. It is said that Lu Yun made the impel down upside down not long ago. Now he has appeared in Logue Town, and it seems that he is completely unscathed. Compared with the previous news, the words spoken by the people behind are even more shocking. If it is to rule Mermaid Island, it can be understood that Chambord Earth Pearl Island belongs to the unregulated generation. Without Marine's restraint, there is still some chance of winning against a group of unarmed murlocs. But if you can get out of Impel Down unscathed, it will be intriguing. Pirates with low qualifications don't even know what Impel Down is, but those pirates with a bounty of over 100 million won't know which one, Impel Down, is simply a nightmare created by Marine for all pirates. Chin Luo walked out of such a terrifying place safe and sound. For a moment, the air in the tavern quieted strangely. Grower seemed to be extremely satisfied with the current state, and looked at Chin Luo slightly ironically. So, don't ask me about my attempts to come here anymore. Compared to me, can you ask me clearly about a sea that came out of Impel Down? Thief, is it more important to come to Logue Town alone? Under Grower's instigation, the eyes of the crowd all moved to Chin Luo. There is admiration for it, and there is surprise for it, but more, it is panic. What kind of powerful existence is this? Can actually surpass Marine. On the other hand, Chin Luo was completely forced to raise his eyebrows by Grower's behavior at this moment. He exposed the coercion on his body, like an arrogant person who had come out of the last days, staring at the crowd in front of him. So strong. Floating cloud god. Can you let me join your team? I am the pirate Mameko with a bounty of over 500 million. Despite the fear, some people still asked this sentence without fear of death. For a while, everyone present quietly shifted their gazes to Chin Luo. We are all looking forward to Chin Luo's answer. Advertisement. It is hard to imagine what choice such a powerful pirate would make in the face of Mamako's request. Chin Luo was already close to the freezing point at this time, and almost swallowed the gloating grower alive. With thin lips, he felt as if he was talking about something irrelevant. Roll. The clouds were light and the wind was light, but a strong air current surged around, swept the pirates who were looking at him heavily on the wall. I saw dense spider cracks cracked open on the walls of the tavern, and this crack is still expanding outward at a more violent speed. It can be seen that there is a great disparity in power between them and Chin Luo. Every time Chin Luo took a step, his body grew a bit bigger. The tavern, which was originally not spacious enough, gave up a wide road in an instant. Full body level, after all. Under Chin Luo's physical body full level, all the pirates who want to stand in the front will be guessed at a moment. Chin Luo left the tavern in such a grand manner. Before leaving, he cast a very cold look at Grower. Grower smirked, and as Chin Luo's back gradually moved away, a bright red bloodline was secreted from the corner of his mouth. Lu Yun, he is really powerful. On the other side, Chin Luo left the tavern and walked on the Logue Town unhurriedly. The things I want to know are almost understood, and the group of people behind are afraid it will be difficult for them to have the courage to follow. The more he walked forward, the air behind him became colder. Before taking a few steps, a silver-haired child ran into him full of arms. The former staggered and cursed, but after confronting Chin Luo's strict aura, he concealed the words into his throat. Report. 33%. Chapter 249. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. You. Dot who are you? The silver-haired child looked a little cautious, but he bit the bullet and asked Chin Luo's identity. Chin Luo's complexion was indifferent, and a pair of eyes were locked tightly in the deepest part of Logue Town. Hey, let me ask you something. The man in the lower part roared, and Chin Luo shifted his gaze to him. The short silver hair looks very thin and weak, like a child who hasn't grown open, but the face is extremely hostile, it should be a young man. There is no particularly strong breath on his body, there are still wounds on his face, and there are traces of being strangled by the thick rope of the ship on his hands. It is estimated that he is also a famous person who came to see the excitement. 
but I was bullied even if I wanted to. Shin Luo had a basic judgment and didn't say much, circumventing his plan to start his own actions. You are not allowed to go. The silver-haired young man spread his arms and stood in front of him. My name is Smoker. What is your name? Shin Luo is really uninterested in such a hostile young man, but the man who followed him immediately revealed his identity. Aren't you going to introduce yourself? Lu Yun. Grower had a faint smile behind him. Such a smile made Shin Luo very uncomfortable. You, are you Lu Yun? Smoker was shocked, and a trace of 053 enthusiasm appeared in his eyes. I heard about you just now, saying that the famous Lu Yun god came to Logue Town, but I didn't expect it to be true. Quote. After he finished speaking, there was light in his eyes. Step aside. Shin Luo turned his head and never even looked at Grower behind him. I advise you, don't do anything useless, or you will die miserably. Grower seemed to be very interested in what he said, and the smile on the corner of his mouth never faded. Since Lu Yun God has said so, I naturally dare not move, Wei paused, and pointed to Smoker, but are you not going to help him? Advertisement. Before Chin Luo knew his intentions, he didn't bother to explain to him, go away. He was just a word, but the pressure on his body surged like a tide. Smoker was horrified by Chin Luo's mad fighting intent, but he still stepped forward slightly, are you Grower? I'm not mistaken, am I? You are a big pirate with a bounty of 800 million won. Glory laughed, her narrow eyes locked tightly on Chin Luo's body. The latter disappeared into the eyes of the two impatiently. Only after a while, Chin Luo stepped behind Grower, his powerful hand stuck to the latter's throat, and the corner of his mouth evoked an indifferent smile. I said, don't try to do things that challenge my bottom line of patience. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Grau raised his hands, his face flushed. Okay, okay, you can do what you want, I'm serious. Chin Luo loosened his eyebrows and spread out his big hands quickly. Grower quickly fell to the ground, and Chin Luo didn't use much force, which saved him a little life. And Smoker, already limp on the ground. Don't blame him. At this time, Smoker does not have the ability to bear fruit, and for Chin Luo's powerful murderous aura, he can only bow his head to the court. Wait, wait for me, flowing cloud god. Smoker stared at the back of Chin Luo leaving, and called him without hesitation. It's just that the latter blocked his words, and walked toward the center of Logue Town every inch. Ahead is where the marine government is going to execute Roger. Advertisement. Chin Luo's eyes were fixed on the guillotine in front of him for a long time, and a few clouds slowly passed by in the sky, and a few seagulls with long necks were roaring in the sky, as if singing a tactful lament for Roger. Chin Luo didn't sway in front of Marine's eyes, but he didn't have to hide it deliberately, just slightly suppressed his breath. But this is enough to make those little Marines eaten up. Will Roger really be executed here in seven days? In a blink of an eye, the crowd gathered on the big court grew more and more, and Marine had to come out to maintain order. Stand back in front, who allowed you to stay so close? Why, do you dare to question Marine's prestige? It is true to say that it is true. It doesn't mean to lie to you scumbags. Marine's voices in twos and threes fell into his ears, and Shin Luo curled his eyebrows, staring silently at the sky in front of him. Hey, you said, is Roger really going to die here? I think it's true. Since Marine dared to show the matter so arrogantly, he wouldn't do self-sniffing things. Another person Kaido. The topic turned to Chin Luo. What do you think? Chin Luo saw that he was being spoken up again, and it was inevitable to be a little funny. Roger will not die. His rare answer. The pirates, how are you so sure, hasn't been asked yet, and Marine has made a disputing voice early. FK, I really gave you a face, a trash dare to pretend to be in front of the uncle. The roar was covered with fat, fat on his face, and his mouth was rough and thick. It's Nanazia, the big pirate with a bounty of 400 million. The pirate who spoke to Chin Luo earlier mumbled. Advertisement. And that Nanazia, the object of dazzling power, happened to be the smoker he had seen before. Smoker was already thin, and fell to the ground in a panic, with a stiff gas on his face. Don't come here, what do you want? What do I want? Huh. Nanazia snorted and stepped on Smoker's thin body, aren't you F King Awesome? Are you rushing to find Lu Yun? Huh. I'm looking for Lu Yun, but what does it matter to you? Smoker was frightened, but he didn't mean to escape. It was just that the thin body had just been propped up, and Nanazia was kicked to the ground mercilessly. It's not Lousy's business that you find your Lu Yun. Nanazia evoked a cold smile, but that shit Lu Yun has a deep connection with Lousy. As soon as Nanazia's words came out, the people present were extremely disdainful. 
At that time, Smoker was still a young man. He had a grudge against the big bounty Lu Yun, and it was really bad enough to use a stinky hair child to throw fire. However, due to his strength, no one would drip this muddy water for a young man who had no power to bind a chicken. But Nanazia's words finally aroused the interest of the people present. How does a big figure with a bounty of 1 billion connect to a pirate with a bounty of 400 million? After all, in the face of data, Nanazia's 400 million bounty seems a little insufficient. Now Mermaid Island has become a forbidden zone. Lousy's mermaid trade business that he did in Mermaid Island a few years ago was nothing but profitable. Then as soon as the damn Luyun appeared, Lousy could only make money from other places. Nanazia slowly said, you said this sells a mermaid, or even 100 million berry, now that Lousy is running around the village, a village is not as large as a high-level mermaid. You said, is this a sin created by that shit? Nanazia's mouth raised a bloodthirsty smile, and he stepped on Smoker's back with one foot. Chapter 250. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Originally, the money that can be made by catching a few beasts, but I am going to ransack the village. Tell me, how many villagers will die for no reason? His words were awe-inspiring. Even for the innocent villagers, you can't just let go of those related to Luyun. You said, right, Jayahaha. Nanazia raised his head and laughed, his eyes stained with ferocity. The group of people behind him were roughly his crew members, chucking their belly exaggeratedly following his harsh laughter. In Logue Town, there are some local villagers. Because of the marine stationed all year round, this area has been invaded relatively few times. But the same residents, when they heard Nanazia's words, they dared not speak. The atmosphere under the tower of Logue Town became quiet and strange in an instant. Pooh, smoker spit, and flew directly into Nanazia's eyes, what do you say for the innocent villagers? If you Ishan is for the villagers, what kind of shit pirate? You are a rubbish, scum. You even mentioned Luyun. God insulted him. Hearing Smoker's sarcasm, Nanazia wiped his face, showing a fierce look. What did you say? His voice was heavy, sounding extremely dangerous. Hey, don't say it, it will die. Smoker had circled a lot of people for him just now, only to face the tough Nanazia, and only to remind him in such a soft way. Smoker smiled at the corner of his mouth, Lousy said you are a rubbish, understand. You deaf. Rubbish is rubbish, and the bounty is less than half of Luyunshan's. No wonder he only dared to curse behind Luyunshan. Nanazia was completely enraged, with a fierce light on his face. So, then you, go and die. As soon as his voice fell, his toes slammed down with fierce force. Advertisement. Smoker's originally thin body, because of this powerful kick, sank into the ground. Not only that, but there are dense spider cracks spreading around. Extremely penetrating. What? Logue Town resounded with the screams of women one after another. Although it is not surprising that on this island close to the Grand Line, killings are no surprise, but such a bloody scene is still unacceptable to most residents of the island. How is it? You rubbish, scumbag, dare to play with lousy. You said that the flowing cloud is so powerful, then you die to see him. Why do you have to be so hard in front of lousy? Lousy makes you die without knowing how to die of. The smile at the corner of Nanazia's mouth gradually deepened, and the crew behind him handed him a compliment. The boss is good, and Luyun is here in this town. This fool is so loyal to Luyun like a dog. I didn't see Luyun come out to rescue him. This is Luyun's character, and it's because of him that he speaks for a rubbish. Trash, it's you guys. In the sigh of everyone, Smoker slowly raised his head and stared at the circle of people in front of him. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Oh, not dead yet. Nanazia's forehead burst with blue veins, and his smile deepened. It's not as good as lousy to give you this chopstick now. As soon as he finished speaking, Nanazia rolled his toes, and Smoker under his feet let out a heart-piercing scream. How is it? Waste. This trick is so cool and unpleasant. Accompanied by Nanazia's almost crazy voice, the surrounding pirates couldn't even turn a blind eye, so they had to step up to surround them. Pirate Nanazia, you want to make trouble in the marine station, come with us. Marine held the bayonet in front of him, and Nanazia smiled and tilted his head. You trash, those who don't want to die, get out of lousy now. Marine's face condensed. Grab them. Advertisement. But before the words were over, a group of Marines with their spears all died in the hands of the crew behind Nanazia. The fallen phone worm heard the whims and roared. Team 1, what happened? The answer to him was a long silence. Nanazia picked up the phone worm on the ground, his mouth almost grinning behind his ears, little ones. The crew behind him responded in unison, yes, 
Now, everyone in the field, seeing one kill one for me, Lousy is going to have something to do before Roger's death, so that everyone can understand that Lousy's crew is simply a god compared to this group of trash. As soon as Nanazia's voice fell, the crew behind him quickly solved a marine, while the former stared at Smoker's back and laughed strangely. You are also tired of playing, I will send you away now. Before the words fell, a monstrous breath rushed over, and even the air in the ears roared, making a slight noise. A path was quickly opened up among the crowd. Shin Luo's body was growing greatly, like a giant that broke the sky, and the red robe on his body became a little weird under the gloomy sky of Logue Town. And Nanazia was suddenly pinched by a huge hand, and the whole person was suspended in the air by Chin Luo's strength. Universal pull plus physical body full level. Everyone present was shocked, especially Nanazia. His face flushed for a while, and his long and narrow eyes stared into bells, so there is no need to say much about Chin Luo's fear. Chin Luo's complexion was extremely bad, and the force to pinch him became even stronger. Okay. So strong. Nanazia was almost speechless in difficulty. Zero. Advertisement. Lu Yun. Really it is you. Smoker felt like he was coming, and he stood up from the ground. But Smoker shouted in his life, but it shocked the people present for half a day. It's so strong. This, is Lu Yun deity. Treatment of a pirate with a bounty of 400 million is exactly like dealing with an ant. Is this the power of a pirate with a bounty of 1 billion? It is jaw-dropping. It turns out that he is Lu Yun. I just, have a conversation with Lu Yun. It seems that he said, Roger won't die. Chin Luo's attack, unsurprisingly, caused a frenzied discussion among everyone. The latter looked shocked, and the mask covered his handsome face, like a huge monster, and everyone present held their breath. Lu Yun, when did you come? Nanazia squeezed out a few words laboriously, and the crew behind him had already fallen to the ground in amazement. You just said that I was rubbish. Huh, what do you want to say now is a rubbish? Chin Luo lifted it up effortlessly. And Nanazia's thoughts at this time, there is only death. Hurry up and kill him. Hurry up and let him die. It's normal for Nanazia to have this idea. After all, Lu Yun had a little mental power when he was being held hostage. This was discovered by Chin Luo accidentally. He did not directly control such a powerful force, but at the same time, will not consume too much. But even so, it is enough for Nanazia to drink a pot. Chapter 251. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Just as everyone was eagerly waiting, Nanazia's complexion seemed to be darkened. On the other hand, Chin Luo, despite being covered by a mask, can still capture a trace of gloom from the appearance of Junyi. Under the control of Chin Luo's big palm, Nanazia made the sound of Karakala in his neck, and the people around him were shocked. So strong. This is the only judgment made by everyone present on Chin Luo. With another soft sound, Nanazia's neck was easily twisted off. The neck of the 400 million pirates was so easily broken by Chin Luo. The crowd took a deep breath, and their views on Luyun were refreshed. Chin Luo stood up under the tower of Logue Town, and Luyun's fame spread throughout Logue Town in an instant. At the same time, Sengoku also got rumors about Lu Yun. What? He is really arrogant. Sengoku's vicissitudes of life squinted tightly, and the chill in it seemed to penetrate a vast ocean and shoot through the flowing clouds. It's no wonder that Sengoku is going to get angry, killing someone to give him power at Marine's prestige, it's a naked slap in the face. Advertisement. Sengoku looked around and couldn't help but advance the itinerary. I will leave for Logue Town tomorrow and take Garp. After a short pause, Sengoku thought about it for a moment. I want to see how strong that flowing cloud can be. Marine's big ship departed for Logue Town on the extensive schedule. At that time, Chin Luo was entangled by Smoker for a long time. Chin Luo tried to avoid Smoker and wanted to inquire about Roger's prison. In the long narrow alley ahead, a man in a robe walked slowly. It's you. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes. It was Grower who came. It's really not going away. Chin Luo's words are not without irony. Grower just squinted his eyes and smiled. I heard that Lu Yun God was heroic, and now I see it, it is indeed a well-deserved reputation. Chin Luo's brow furrowed high, his eyes fixed on Grower for a moment, and he didn't say more. What is your purpose? Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Grower tilted his head. No, I just want to see if the legendary character really has the strength of the rumored bounty. Chin Luo had long been impatient, a pair of eyes flashed, and he directly released Sharingan. Grower deliberately squinted Chin Luo's gaze, and the corner of his mouth raised a sarcasm, but I have seen it, you don't have to show such a murderous intent. 
Grower tried his best to make his words easier, but the cold sweat on his forehead could not be faked, and sweat stains appeared in his hands. I'm here to remind you, Lu Yum, that your behavior on this trip is so blatant. Sengoku has learned about it and will bring a capable man with you. Grower's mouth brought out a lively smile, but she was turning it disappeared again in an instant. I can only remind you that, as for the rest, it depends on your own good fortune. Advertisement. Grower had just walked a few steps, and his face was swept by a fierce air current. The powerful pressure suppressed him breathlessly, and there was a wound on a rough face. It's a palm sent by Chin Luo at will. I'm not interested in who the rough guy Sengoku brought here. He doesn't have the power to remind you. Grower, I don't want to kill you now, but you'd better prepare the coffin for yourself in advance. If you still to stretch your hand for such a long time. Although Chin Luo's words were very polite, the coldness in the words was extremely cold. He extremely hated the feeling of being played between the palms of his hands. From the very beginning of Smoker, Chin Luo felt that Grower was testing himself with Smoker. Test whether you are kind-hearted and will save a stranger who supports you. Although I don't know what Grau's purpose is doing, it is really disgusting. The reason why Chin Luo didn't shoot him could not be simpler. Grower didn't swear to him like Nanasia, and even said Grower was just looking at it from beginning to end with a mind to watch the excitement. Chin Luo. And killing him is just as simple as squeezing an ant to death, but this thing that does not pose a threat to Chin Luo, there is no need to deliberately crush it. Chin Luo left calmly, and Grower behind him quickly let out a sigh of relief as he watched Chin Luo's back. Leo Yun, really a terrifying man. In the blink of an eye, on the seventh day, Logue Town has gathered pirates of all sizes, and even a small-scale auction venue has formed underground. Borrowing this gimmick, it has gained a lot of popularity. Marine can't suppress it. After all, the dark forces that exist in every place will only destroy the original piece if they are cleaned up. Marine concealed Roger very dead. After Chin Luo's investigation, he fully realized the fact that Roger was not on this island. Or it can be thought that Roger will only appear in execution today. Advertisement. However, Chin Luo didn't deliberately inquire about Roger's news. If he would come sooner or later, he didn't need to spend more energy to find out. Sengoku and Garp arrived unexpectedly early. The crowded streets of Logue Town freed up a long road on the day Sengoku arrived, seeming to be deliberately welcoming them. Garp is sturdy, and every step he takes is calm and powerful. The two of them shook the streets of Logue Town silently. So that was Garp, so majestic. Everyone cast their eyes on Garp. Chin Luo stayed behind, and a strange smile wafted from his lips. Sengoku strode to the high tower of Logue Town. There were several long-necked pigeons roaring in the sky, low on top of Sengoku's head. Sengoku cleared his throat and glanced at the crowded head below. The sound is like thunder. I heard that some pirates who have paid a lot of money have already arrived on this island one after another. You can come to fight, and the majesty of the marine government is put on hold, especially for some crazy actions that they think they are number one in the world. The idiot pirate, find out your identity, you are a pirate 4.3 after all, and we are the marine government after all. Sengoku's opening remarks are not full of irony. The first group of people is not hard to hear that Sengoku is a drunkard who doesn't want to drink, and his remarks point to the challenge of Marine's majestic Luyun, asking him to know Marine's strength. At the same time, it was not an exciting provocation in the eyes of some little pirates. But on the other hand, in the eyes of some pirates with a bounty of more than 100 million yuan, Sengoku's approach has to be said to be a lot of pediatrics. Such a blatant provocation to Luyun does not just show that Luyun's identity is special, and his strength is so powerful that even Sengoku has to come out and control the field. TNND, your AF King Dick, isn't it just a marine government? I have not caught Lousy for five years, so I dare to pretend to be here without embarrassment. Chapter 252. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. A taller jumped out from the crowd, his voice overshadowing Sengoku's thunderous color. Everyone turned their gazes on him, only to see the man with long curly hair hitting his shoulders, his face twisted and twisted across a hideous scar. Pirate Sandisk. Seeing that Sengoku's face was so refuted, the lieutenant underneath could not help standing up and shouting, Go back, don't make trouble here. A trace of contempt flashed on Sandisk's face, and the rough big hand quickly caught the lieutenant general's neck, lifting him to his legs and off the ground. The latter is like a fish lacking water. His complexion is bloodshot in an instant, struggling in pain. Who am I? Isn't this a lieutenant general? You forgot how your hair was killed in my hands. There was a trace of evil in Sandisk's voice, and the lieutenant general, who was pinched by his throat, suffocated, and shouted, 
UF King Fart. Sugihara Apricot died under the mouth of sea kings. He was trying to save an old lady. Just died. What right do you have to slander a deceased here? Maybe the relationship is quite good. The lieutenant general is like an angry lion, but he can't escape the restraint of Sandisk's wrist in the end. Fifteen inches oh. That's what the group of ants that I let go told you. Sandy raised his eyebrows, and after a moment he let out a jealous smile. Ha ha ha, it's interesting, it's really interesting. That group of idiots actually told you that. Ha ha sea kings, which old lady have you ever seen appearing in the sea where sea kings exist? And saving people from sea kings, he really thinks he is what he is. Shit hero. Ha ha ha. Sandisk's low voice was too harsh, and Lieutenant General's gaze floated slowly for a moment under the lack of oxygen, and then he raised his eyebrows on the platform and stared at Sengoku below. His figure is tall and stalwart, with no waves even visible on his face, like an outsider insight into what is happening below. Spicy. K. Dai, Ned, you are in play. That's your subordinate Lieutenant General Origin's words were squeezed out of his throat intermittently, and the special marine badge on his chest was gleaming. No matter how hard he could stand the suffering, he couldn't bear Sengoku's cold look that made people desperate. Advertisement. Sean Yuanshin. Torn shopping appearance, you can touch it without trial. The glory of Sugihara Apricot's death, why don't you explain it? Lieutenant General's gaze was like a fierce beast, with a heart pinched tightly, and the one who could understand the chill in his words, was afraid it was Sengoku on the high platform and Sandisk who held his life. Sandisk seems to be dissatisfied with the status quo, what? Do you believe it now? If you still don't believe it, it doesn't matter, I can cover it up like you. A smile gradually appeared at the corner of Sandisk's mouth. Your lieutenant general's friend is also in under my right hand, little by little, it was strangled to death. Jayahaha. In the sky of Logue Town, there was a sorrowful atmosphere. Everyone present, none of them uttered a word, watching Sandisk's increasingly gravitational hand, and his thoughts were instantly empty. Lieutenant General Marine, what are you still doing? Sengoku's unsatisfactory sentence brought all the members back to God from watching the lively marine. Hands, hands, fruits, a pair of hands with infinite strength, you can manipulate the intensity at will, as long as they are in the palm of a person with the ability of hands and hands, few can escape. A detective lieutenant will analyze Shen Shang. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. However, the biggest bug with hand and hand fruit is that two fists are hard to beat four hands. As soon as the voice fell, the surrounding marine crowded Sandisk frantically, and the latter's expression was horrified, and it was not difficult to see a little panic. Why, I'm afraid that I will expose your careful thoughts of marine, and now I am going to kill me. Sandisk GG gave a weird laugh, and marine in front of him only condensed for a moment, and he was not instigated by him at all. Go away, let Lousy go. There is a dick to catch Lousy, go to Luyun. I think about it, Luyun is so close to you, you still don't want to catch him, are you afraid that you are not able to catch him? Ha ha ha. Sandisk's mouth was so hard that he got a fist, and Garp's huge figure fell from the sky, like a huge flying bird all the time. Bang. With just a light punch, Sandy's body fell to the ground stiffly, blood rushing from his nose and mouth, leaving a fishy smell. Advertisement. A chopstick actually wants the old man to do it himself. Garp lifted his chin, as if the previous scene hadn't happened. After Sandisk was suppressed, the noisy crowd suddenly calmed down. It took a long time for someone to speak again. It turns out that this is Garp's strength. It really deserves its reputation. It's better to see it after hearing it. Do you need to brag about him like that? It is said that Garp is now Sengoku's heart. The only one who can compete with Luyun, I am afraid it is only Garp. Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief when the subjectivity of the crowd had been reversed at this moment. And the sky in the distance of Logue Town, faintly braved with golden light, as if crossing layers of gold powder, walking slowly along the bluestone streets with heavy steps, everything in front of you slowly surging in the void, everyone gathered together, see to the man from the outermost periphery. Yes, it's Roger. One in the crowd exclaimed. So he is Roger. The coercion is so powerful. It's stronger than the sand disk just now, I don't know how many times. Several voices talked about Roger, but he was dressed in red, walking under the sunset of Logue Town, his shoulders were covered with gold, his eyes were like a layer of deep black ice, and his black hair was twisted wantonly and publicly. As he walked, the sea stone handcuffs on his hand made a 970 sound of Glogluo. Roger. Standing at the top, Garp cast his eyes on Roger for a moment, his eyes full of thoughts. Advertisement. Oh. Roger raised his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, you and Sengoku would come in person. 
Roger laughed, and the steps under his feet seemed to be wound up, moving fast and slowly. Innocent, how old are you? You think we are here to see you off. What Sengoku said was rude, but his eyes looked around. You don't have to look for it. Roger's voice was calm. No one will rob me. What he said was so indifferent, as if putting life and death outside. Huh. Sengoku snorted coldly, his expression a little unkind, but he was relieved when he heard Roger's words, but didn't intend to appreciate it. Wait for the moment when dusk falls, execution. Sengoku's voice was rough and powerful. The time just before sunset was chosen to show the power of the marine government. It has become a thing of the past to highlight the pirates of Roger's generation. Nothing can compete with marine anymore. The pirates in the audience looked horrified, but looked forward to the things that followed. You know, there is another character who said before that Roger would not die. Chapter 253. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Just as everyone present was looking for Chin Luo's figure, the sky outside Logue Town was gradually approaching twilight. Everyone stunned, and it was hard to imagine that such a famous big pirate would die in the hands of Marine. Roger. I'm a reporter from the Weekly Times. Did you voluntarily surrender to Marine's camp? A sharp voice pulled up, and Roger gradually walked to a high place under Marine's protection. His generous back was like a mountain, which was daunting and daunting in front of everyone. Can you answer my question? With the shout of the reporter, the surrounding reporters sent by the newspaper to inquire about the news couldn't calm down. I'm from the New York Times. I'm Pirate Weekly. A series of questions covered Logue Town eloquently, making the place where there were originally weird places, the popularity of time is only high. Roger, may I ask you where you have left your treasure after sailing for so many years? The last question is to turn the eyes of everyone present back to Roger. I saw Roger in a red suit, like a pioneering fighter, the Roger that appeared in front of everyone was a little bit different from before. At this moment, his aura of solemnity was like a docile beast, raising the atmosphere on the court to the highest point. Just when everyone thought that Roger would not answer, he suddenly smiled on the table. Just like a Satan walking out of hell, the air outside the court became a little bit cold under his biting smile. This man, really, Garp muttered to himself, his eyes never left Roger. He somewhat guessed what Roger would say next, but vaguely felt it was not. Advertisement. Worthy of being his opponent for so long. It is worthy of being able to make the marine government so troublesome to deal with it. My treasure. Roger lowered his head, his vicissitudes of life hung in the dark, with a faint smile on his mouth. If you want it, I'll give it to you, go find it. His smile was a bit hysterical, and the islanders present were full of chills from deep in their hearts. I put everything in the world there. At the end of Roger's words, he even drove a bit of madness, and the crowd below was peaceful. Moments later, a hysterical shout broke out. Grand Line. Roger's treasure is on the Grand Line. Report this news to the headquarters soon. We must be the first to release this news before everyone. Video worm. Quickly connect to the video worm. Broadcast. Broadcast to all parts of the world. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. The crowd under the tower began to boil. From the islanders, to the reporters, to the pirates, everyone was excited by Roger's words. That's a treasure. The treasure Roger spent his life searching for. Is there. The deepest part of the grand line. Jung. With a crisp sound, the image bug was cut off in an instant. I saw Sengoku's body standing like a statue, standing on the tower, but the reporter who wanted to connect with the image worm underneath his body had already been swollen high by a sudden stone. This. Sengoku couldn't pay attention to the face of the person in front of him, his eyes seemed to be embellished with ice, the chill on his body burst in an instant, and the corners of his mouth were pinched with a smile that seemed like nothing. Advertisement. All. Listen to me. He shouted loudly. Organize all the islanders and pirates to approach, and execute now. Sengoku had anticipated the urgency of the matter, and Roger had turned everyone's eyes to the deepest part of the Grand Line. Not surprisingly, this time the killing of chickens and monkeys will not only fail to contain the pirates, but a group of people will chase hysterically. That would be the most terrifying scene. It may even cause the era of big pirates. Sengoku's complexion was as bloodless as white paper, and his eyes would shiver as long as they looked at him. The executioner raised his sword and fell, between the sparks and flints. A loud noise stopped this farce. Who allowed you to do it now? Chin Luo, dressed in a red robe bordered by black clouds, stood in front of everyone like a god and Buddha. The corners of his mouth were slightly hooked, as if he didn't care about everything in front of him. Are there any questions? What's my opinion? 
His appearance increased the astonishment of the entire Logue Town Islanders several times. The crowd underneath opened their mouths wide and looked at the person in front of them in surprise. Those late pirates, even just heard that Luyun is on this island, and the reputation of Luyun stays in an existence that covers the Mermaid Island. As for the Impel Down incident, except for a few pirates with more flexible news, it can be said that very few people know about it. After all, such a shameful thing, Marine cannot put it on the face. But having said that, an existence regarded as a god by the residents of Mermaid Island has now provoked Marine's chief decision maker Sengoku. This is undoubtedly the collision of the two forces. Thinking of this, everyone looked at Shin Luo's eyes, inevitably there was a little more admiration. It's really you. Sengoku stood in front, his eyes unhappy or angry. Advertisement. And his indifferent action was like a boulder, knocking on the hearts of everyone present. What kind of person is Sengoku? Even the sand disc just now doesn't need him to shoot. I was still knocked down by Garp with an easy punch. This is enough to show Ryun's weight in Marine's eyes to the little pirate who still doesn't know Ryun's name. What? Are you waiting for me with a facial paralysis? Chin Luo raised his lips and smiled, and the words were all ironic. Sengoku took a deep breath. Garp. Garp behind him responded, his eyes piercingly at Chin Luo. Luyun, I advise you not to say bad words. In any case, this is also Marine's territory. Chin Luo shows his face. Marine's sight. After a little pause, Chin Luo smiled exaggeratedly, as if he had heard the funniest joke in the world. Well, do you want to take a gamble, if he Sengoku died here today? Now, will the people present cry for him, or will they kneel under my feet begging for mercy? As soon as this remark came out, it shocked all the people. The marine underneath seemed to be stunned. They know Chin Luo's toughness, after all, they have heard many legends about Lu Yun when they are in the marine headquarters. But I never thought that Lu Yun was so arrogant at that time. You are not ashamed, it's just a pirate with a higher bounty. With so many marines, you are the only one who want to save Roger. A lieutenant admiral jumped out, looking like a tiger and leopard who had been fierce, and he couldn't move away from Shin Luo. Shin Luo smiled, unexpectedly without making too many movements. Boy, haven't you noticed that there are so many marines, and you're Sengoku, don't dare to touch me at all. Chapter 254. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The lieutenant's expression shrank. Indeed, even though Chin Luo clamored harder here, the two marshals, who had always been responsible for protecting face, did not mention a word. It can also be seen that Chin Luo's weight in marine is enough to match and many famous marine characters. What? Chin Luo smiled weirdly at the corner of his mouth. It is not difficult to see that he deliberately made marine embarrassed. Even though he was provocative in every way, Sengoku just stood on a high place with an uncertain face and stared at him. Guess again, if I kill you now, what would they do? Chin Luo's words were already tainted with danger, the lieutenant general marine in front of him seemed to understand something, and his eyes were shocked. You, what are you going to do? Just responding to him, leaving Chin Luo's gloomy eyes. Chin Luo's footsteps are approaching tightly, and the complexions of the people present are even more exciting. Lieutenant General Marine's footsteps are staggered and backward, and Shin Luo in front of him is aggressive, like a bloodthirsty beast. Under this glaring situation, it lasted for about 10 seconds, and a faint liquid flowed out from under Lieutenant General Marine's crotch. Quote dot 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 quote. There was a moment of silence, Shin Luo used Sharingan, his eyes flipped quickly, a pair of big hands were about to pinch Marine's neck tightly, and a rough drink from 760 Garp stopped him hurriedly. Actions. Leo Yun. Everything ends here. Marine didn't provoke you this time. You should be more acquainted and leave quickly. Chin Luo narrowed his eyes and chuckled, if you tell me to go, I'll go. Seeing the contemptuous smile at the corner of Chin Luo's mouth, Garp frowned tightly, what do you want? Advertisement. Garp, I think you are considered a gentleman. I don't care about interrupting. But I am also called the god of flowing cloud by the islanders of Mermaid Island. I came to Logue Town by wading through mountains and rivers. You want me to go back empty-handed now? The meaning in Chin Luo's words couldn't be more obvious, which made it clear that Marine was obediently yielding. Sengoku glanced at the people in front of him, his expression kept calm, and his voice was like a drake. What do you want? With eyesight, Chin Luo chuckled, stepping on the air, stepping into the air, and keeping the same height as Roger, whose knees touched the ground. I want Roger. As soon as Chin Luo's words came out, it was like a boulder that shocked everyone present. Lu Yun actually said to take Roger away. Originally, it was incredible enough that Sengoku asked Shin Luo what he wanted, but now, 
Lu Yun is even more eloquent to say that he wants Roger. For a while, the air in Logue Town was quiet and weird. All the people present looked at each other, hoping to see something from Shin Luo's face, what a wild side was buried under that mask. Sengoku shouted, Impossible, Lu Yun, you lunatic. How many caddies do you think you have? Do you think you can escape from Marine? You want Roger. Don't look at your own caddies. Sure enough, Sengoku's anger was also expected by everyone. However, Shin Luo seemed to care nothing, and Young calmly walked to Sengoku's eyes and sneered. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Oh, how many caddies and tails do I have? I need to tell you about this matter. Shin Luo smiled contemptuously. Sengoku, you said everyone here can be unclear, but how can you pretend to be stupid? How many caddies are there in the cloud? Don't you know when you dump impel down? Sengoku's complexion changed. A pair of gloomy eyes flashed. In the meantime, I am afraid that there is only endless hatred. Unexpectedly, Shin Luo would choose to talk about impel down at this time. It's a real slap in the face. On the other hand, the expressions of the several people under the high platform are quite different. Lu Yun actually pushed impel down. Advertisement. No matter where it is placed, this incident is explosive news. The reporter present had even forgotten the record in an instant, and there was nothing in his eyes except surprise. But why didn't I get the news before? The discussion sounded from the bottom after a while. How could Marine talk about this kind of thing on the table? The other person answered. It's no wonder that I said that my ship was swept near Impel down by the Whirlpool several times, and no one came out of it. It seems that this is true. After a few arguments, the Marine government seemed to be the weaker party in the eyes of everyone. As the Marshal Sengoku, how could he listen to the fact that the Marine government was told such an unbearable scene in person? Lu Yun, you don't want to toast anymore and stop eating fine wine. Sengoku gave a rough drink, and the broken sword in the jailer's palm beside him quickly reached Lu Yun. The flying sword is like a huge tiger, splitting the surrounding air, and directly facing Shin Luo's eyebrows. Sword. On the other hand, Shin Luo is indifferent, the islanders underneath are already boiling. If Lu Yun died in front of them in Logue Town today, it would have really become a piece of historical news. With only a sound of, Jung, the broken sword hit Shin Luo's palm straight. With another sound, the broken sword that was about to be inserted into Shin Luo's palm fell to the ground. There was a roar on the ground, and a big hole was smashed into the originally flat ground in an instant. It's incredible. The scene freezes for a few seconds, and then a hysterical cry erupts. Advertisement. Ryayum. He actually stopped the broken sword shot by Sengoku with his bare hands. Okay. So strong. According to Sengoku's strength, if the person who was hit was me, I would probably not survive the moment. Right now, it's great to have a whole corpse. I didn't see the broken sword sent by Sengoku, and it hit a big hole when it fell on the ground, which shows how powerful it is. A few conversations in twos and threes have already described the trick just now as shocking and weeping. On the contrary, the person concerned did not say a word, as if looking at an extremely ordinary thing. Lu Yun, please make a price. It was Garp who was talking, and everyone present was shocked by Garp's hoarse noise. Everyone didn't understand what Garp's so-called asking price meant. After a short while, they would understand the contemptuous smile on the corner of Chin Luo's mouth. Garp, unexpectedly asked Lu Yun to make a price. It's hard to imagine, is this a kind of compromise by Marine to the pirates? Everyone's thoughts were surprisingly consistent. Sengoku was a bit dissatisfied with Garp's unauthorized actions, but he realized that Garp turned to Roger's gaze. The most urgent thing is to dispose of Roger, otherwise Lu Yun has been consumed so much, and it is easy to be in a passive state. But despite this, Garp's approach still makes Sengoku a little uncomfortable. Tell me, how do you want to give up? Sengoku also asked again. After all, for Sengoku, compared to losing the face in Logue Town, if you can't kill Roger, you lose a big face in the entire world. So I had to think of a way to tactfully, and also give Lu Yun a step, hoping that he would not have to go down. Chapter 255. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The smile at the corner of Shin Luo's mouth gradually widened. He didn't even expect that this incident actually softened Sengoku and Garp. A more interesting idea came to mind. Shin Luo squinted his eyes and smiled at the two in front of him and said, You want me to leave now? Well, it's not impossible. When Garp Sengoku heard what Shin Luo said, he naively thought that Shin Luo was making peace with them. And Sengoku's posture is also higher at this moment. HMPH, that is to give you some face now, 
count you acquaintance, and in the next day, Marine will definitely get back all the profits. As Sengoku thought, even the look in his eyes was a bit contemptuous. On the other hand, Garp, a pair of vicissitudes of life tightly curled up, judging from his instinct, this matter is definitely not that simple. This flowing cloud appeared in front of everyone. According to his strength, what else would be needed for the Marine government to give him, there must be a conspiracy behind it. And I have to say that Garp's speculation on Lu Yun really fits. As Garp thought, Chin Luo's careful thoughts appeared in his mind even he was absolutely amazing. What do you want? Sengoku finally returned to the subject from his imagination. I said Sengoku, don't talk too much, you ask me what I want, but I'm afraid you can't give it, then it will be more than shameful in Logue Town. Chin Luo's meaning is rarely heard come out, but his purpose is only one to provoke Sengoku. He he, Lu Yun, how old are you really? Just your kind of poor, I can't give you what you want. Sengoku's voice became louder as he went back, as if he had already settled, Lu Yun could do it this time. Softening down is a kind of compromise, and this kind of compromise is because of the grief in Lu Yun's body, so he expected that Lu Yun would not be able to say anything good, and would only make others laugh and laugh. Then what can I say? Chin Luo put on a look of disbelief, making the corners of Sengoku's mouth even more contemptuous. Go ahead. Sengoku nodded reluctantly. Advertisement. The corner of Chin Luo's mouth evokes an ironic smile. The voice is not loud, but it is enough for everyone below to hear it. It's very simple. Ten billion devil fruit. Give it to me now, and I will leave. What? Ten billion. Everyone was shocked by the numbers Chin Luo broke out. No wonder they were at a loss. After all, in the eyes of ordinary people, it is a great honor to get a devil fruit. And this Lu Yun, one mouth is one hundred. Billion. Really. I have a huge appetite. Everyone present dared to speak out. After all, in their eyes, although Chin Luo's words were big talks, they had nothing to do with their group of shrimp soldiers and crabs. What they care about is Sengoku's response. After all, just now, Sengoku praised Heiko, and now Lu Yun has said what he wants, it depends on how Sengoku will end up. Sure enough, Sengoku's face was covered with dark clouds, as if he was about to swallow the flowing clouds, but at this time he turned his face and lost his face again. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. After all, just now, he still vowed to believe that Lu Yun would never produce anything good. On the other hand, Chin Luo seems to be able to see what Sengoku has in mind, and the smiles at the corners of his mouth are layered. How is it, Sengoku, are you going to obediently take out ten billion devil fruit? Chin Luo added another sentence, for Sengoku, it was like a drunk, causing his face to become hot. Lu Yun, don't talk about it here. Sengoku suffocated for a long time, only to suffocate this sentence. Chin Luo seemed to be lively, and Sengoku couldn't get it. Why, old man, are you going to be unbelievable? Or are you going to obediently make all the marine hunt around 10 billion devil fruit for me? The people underneath took a breath. Advertisement. If the intention in Shin Luo's words was that they hadn't seen it just now, then the matter is now very clear. It's clear to embarrass Sengoku. After all, in the eyes of the world, 10 billion is already an untouchable number. However, Shin Luo is not ashamed of asking for these tens of billions of devil fruits. It's what the top leader in charge of the marine government wants. This is intriguing. What does Lu Yun have to do with the marine government? Is it possible for Sengoku to compromise with him again and again? Sengoku couldn't feel the gaze of the people below. At this time, his face was as white as a white paper, and his eyes were bloodshot. Marshal Sengoku really wants to take out 10 billion devil fruit. But did he take out? It is inevitable that there are twos and threes of voices discussing below, and these words fell into the ears of the Buddha of war without a coincidence. Resolutely became the last straw to crush the Buddha. His eyes became crimson, like a wild beast released. Garp knew that something was wrong and immediately stopped Sengoku from taking the next step. However, Sengoku is obviously not so easy to catch it, and Garp's tired eyebrows furrow tightly. Which trick do you want to use? The answer was Sengoku's increasing breathing. You're crazy. Garp seemed a little flustered, his brows burst into a strong aura. You stay here, I'll meet him, you won't have your turn to deal with his scumbag, or you will lose the price. Advertisement. Dot dot dot. Garp's words finally calmed Sengoku. At this time, Sengoku was like an angry lion, and his skin gradually became golden. Garp yelled and jumped in front of Chin Luo's eyes. Chin Luo's robe fluttered freely in the wind, like a god of war, standing in front of everyone. Lu Yun, you toasted and didn't eat fine wine, let me kill you now. Garp snorted, 
and stepped on the air like a beast out of a hole, quickly reaching Qin Luo's side. The latter is also shaped like a flexible water snake, pacing around Garp quickly. The figures of the two are fast, and the people underneath are even more surprised. I have never seen it before, Lieutenant General Garp is so powerful. As soon as these words came out, the two fought for a few more rounds. The former Lieutenant Admiral was crushed everywhere by Qin Luo. Now Garp and Qin Luo are even on the same level, which is really surprising. Looking at the fight between the two above, the words underneath were layered on top of each other. No wonder, after all, since Qin Luo went to the island, rumors about Qin Luo have quickly spread throughout the island. And the most surprising thing is that Qin Luo and the 800 million bounty pirate exchanged each other before. Luyan's reputation has always been out, but what makes everyone curious now is why Garp, who is only at the level of lieutenant, can be tied with Qin Luo. It's hard to imagine. Several well-known pirates mumbled a few words below, and Qin Luo heard all what they said. Chapter 256. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Qin Luo naturally didn't bother to return to him. He is interested now, as for why he can't beat Garp. It was a dream, how could Qin Luo, who could destroy even five elders, be injured in the hands of a mere lieutenant? Not enough Garp's speed is extremely fast, but it also makes Qin Luo's eyes shine. In the face of such an opponent, even if he did not intend to punish Sengoku, Qin Luo deliberately left his mind to see where Garp's true strength lies. The two men's tricks were like a nerve, and there was a faint explosion in the air, which was caused by the two hands and feet facing each other. Seeing that the people are more and more speculating about Garp's strength, some people in the know will inevitably come out to answer. You don't know this. Garp's combat power has always been the most prominent among Marine. It's just that people don't have a lot of fame and don't want to be an admiral at all. He's crazy. Admiral isn't appropriate. The conjectures of the people below are getting louder and louder. Seeing the two fighting fiercely, some even become storytellers. That's natural. After all, Admiral has to deal with a lot of things. These things add up to a pot of things. Suddenly, he seemed to squint his eyes as expected. I see, according to Garp's strength, maybe his true level has reached Admiral, even the level of a marshal. Hearing his analysis, the people below suddenly realized. Is it really that great? If Garp is really as good as you said, I'm afraid I'm already sitting on Sengoku's seat. No wonder there have been reports of disagreement between Garp and Sengoku. There is a reason why I want to come now. Garp was fighting with Ishan on top, and he didn't have the time to take care of the things below, except that the comments below had already been overwhelmed. Advertisement. Drink. Garp uttered a rough drink, and his palm quickly sent out a force, like a beast, and moved the people below it back a few steps. I saw a big hole immediately vacated on the ground, and it was rapidly expanding outward at a speed visible to the naked eye. It was just that the slightly more famous group of pirates were still thinking about the relationship between eight trigrams Garp and Sengoku. Those little pirates had already been breathlessly suppressed by the pressure in front of them. Luyun, you go. With a low voice, everyone looked away. I saw Roger on the high platform, his eyes turned red as if they had been stained with salt water, while Sengoku beside him whose breath was already like a swift beast, seemed to explode in an instant. He must have heard the discussion just now. Sengoku's body gradually bulged, and the muscles on his arms rose rapidly, but in a short time, there was actually a standing Roger's head as high as the top. And this expansion continues to grow one. All the people present were stunned, saying that Sengoku was the brain of Marine Headquarters, and no one could see his real body. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. I just didn't expect to be exposed in Logue Town. But it's no wonder that Sengoku, who originally wanted to kill Roger Liwei in Logue Town, was provoked by Chin Luo. Not only that, Chin Luo actually had to threaten 10 billion devil fruit when Marine was softened. Faced with such a sky-high quantity, it is not unreasonable to be beaten. The key is that in the end, it was even said that Sengoku was not as good as Garp. The aura of Sengoku's body is on display, the muscles of his body are soaring every inch, and the golden luster of his body gradually becomes stronger. Advertisement. It's like the legendary Tathagata Buddha. The marine and pirates underneath all looked stunned. Garp noticed the changes in Sengoku and almost yelled, Sengoku, you are crazy. Don't use your abilities without authorization. But at this time Sengoku couldn't listen to everyone's words. His body was like a thunder, moving forward and approaching quickly. As soon as he approached Chin Luo, his sturdy palm was overflowing with golden light, and the mighty fist hockey hit hard on the back of Chin Luo. Simply Chin Luo moved fast enough, like a thunder, avoiding Sengoku's attack. 
Three people stepped on the air, soaring in the sky. The people looking up at the bottom are serious, and the three people hovering above for a long time can even be said to be unattainable. God. Lu Yun, I want to see how you want to hide now. Sengoku was extremely fast, like a mad lion, but Garp saw that the matter was beyond remedy, so he had to cooperate with Sengoku quickly and attack Chin Luo frantically. Facing the combined force of the two people, Chin Luo didn't seem to panic or rush, and slowly fell in front of them. Why, you just have so little strength. If it weren't for a mask, Chin Luo would already want to see them through his nostrils. Sengoku's golden body is still getting bigger, and over time, the height has been comparable to the high platform behind him. Roger's expression tightened. Lu Yun, go away, my death is already doomed, don't save me. Roger's words made Chin Luo frown. Don't talk nonsense, you can still tell me to do nothing. Chin Luo didn't expect that Sengoku would join Garp to attack, and what was more unexpected was that Sengoku would show Devil Fruit's ability. But it's okay. Now the situation has arrived. If Sengoku doesn't kill Chin Luo, Marine's face will definitely be laughable and generous. This is a situation that neither Garp nor Sengoku want to see. Advertisement. Although Sengoku's actions also brought a lot of personal touch into it, if it weren't for the extensive involvement behind it, Garp would not attack so hard. Chin Luo's moves to cater to the two of them are quite handy. A pair of eyebrows resembling stars in the sky, Sengoku's hands are so fast, just the golden light reflected from his body, all of them are bewildered by the kind of person below. Chin Luo quickly jumped behind Sengoku, his body as agile as a water snake, and then punched Sengoku on the back in an instant. As a result, Sengoku rolled down quickly. Because of the huge size, the crowd below quickly dispersed, and saw a huge pit recessed on the ground where Sengoku fell. The cracks rapidly expanded outward by 2.3 sheets at a speed visible to the naked eye. A group of people walked back quickly. Chin Luo is standing in the sky. Garp cannot stay in the air for too long due to the influence of Moonwalk, but Chin Luo's gravitational heaven-defying skill is another refresh of the image in the eyes of everyone. How about it? Sengoku, you trash, still thinking of getting your face back. I can't accept a single punch. I saw Chin Luo figure fast, like a giant bird, and punched Sengoku on the back. Everyone's expressions tightened. The ground under Sengoku sank a little further, and the people around him stepped back quickly, hoping to stay away from this place of right and wrong. There was a muffled noise on the ground. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. How can Sengoku give up so easily? Today all the face is being played with by Chin Luo, it is really intolerable. Chapter 257. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. You obediently handed over 10 billion devil fruit, isn't it all right? Do you still have to play so many games here? Sengoku, you always remember the absolute justice, and it's shit in front of me. You Marine always claim that everything that Marine does is right, and everything that the pirate does is wrong. Now I will tell you tell you with your fist, that everything I say is right. Chin Luo said harshly. There are so many shackles in this world, and even these shackles are still locked up by Roger, who conquered the world with his own courage. Chin Luo raised his eyes and glanced at the torture table on the high platform that symbolizes marine justice. On the stage less than five square meters, a person is looking at everything in front of him with red eyes, even if his hands are locked by shackles. In the prison on the road, those jailers Marine beat and scolded him, insulted him, and the Marine government slandered everything on him. None of these made him feel uncomfortable. He is a man who has conquered the sea and is a strong man. King. But the little brother who is only one-sided in front of him can do this for himself, making Roger's heart as strong as iron can't resist loosening, and his heart is crying. He is for me, knocked Sengoku down and challenged all the Marines alone with sixteen people. Challenge all the unfair treatment in this world. Yes. One Piece Roger has just experienced the most glorious days in his life. With the power of a fleet, he conquered the Sea of New World and completed a feat that was called impossible. During the period, he saw the world. The most true history years ago, but he could not tell the truth to everyone in the world, because at that time everyone would say that he was a fool. So he chose to use his death to summon more people, and the more courageous people would discover the truth of this world a hundred years ago. Then overthrow the shackles imposed on people by those high above the world. This is what Roger is proud of all his life. That's why Roger only asked Ishan to die at the beginning, because as the first one to complete an impossible feat and conquered the Grand Line, his death was definitely a sensation in the world. His death will encourage generations of pirates to set sail, searching for the world and even the truth of the world. However, 
When he saw a person who had never veiled his face, he thought about himself in this way. For the sake of his life, he did not hesitate to give everything he had to the world government and other people with hundreds of millions of people in the world. The Vassal's Challenge Advertisement Roger's eyes are getting hotter and tearful. He decides to live for the upright person in front of him. He will never bow his head to this group of marine lieutenant generals and admiral who pretend to use absolute justice to judge the fate of others. He compromised only because of Chin Luo, a hero who never shed a tear in his life, now a tear rolls gently from his eyelids. Of course, he is paying attention to the battle and also feels uncomfortable for the pain his comrades have suffered, and Garp. Sengoku Garp is the closest comrade in arms. Since becoming Marine, the two have almost grown up wearing the same pair of pants. Garp is a rough man, and Ishin wants to save Sengoku, but the man in front of him called Luyun is too powerful. It has surpassed the strength of any of them in single-handed combat. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. If there is still hope, then you can only rely on yourself and Sengoku to join forces, and through the long-term tacit understanding of fighting side by side between the two, it is possible to achieve victory by using unique tricks. So when he inadvertently saw the pirate King Roger, who symbolizes the body of steel on the sea, shed a tear, he seemed to understand something. Left and right, young master, go up to me to control Roger, and you can take measures if necessary. You wait to see my gestures. Although Garp is a rough person, he really does when his partner is in danger of life. We'll use some tricks. The two young sergeants were Garp's most trusted subordinates, and they jumped up with one stride. However, Chin Luo looked at the Sengoku of Buddha in front of him with a smug look. You must know that Sengoku of Buddha has a special Paramesha devil fruit, which is a devil fruit that is more annoying than Lodia devil fruit. He broke his spine with a fist. Aren't you going to stop? Chin Luo felt that if Sengoku didn't succumb, he wouldn't mind giving the other side a sword, as if it was giving a dead man a relief. Advertisement. No, no, I'm not over yet, I'm going to kill you, the extremely evil pirate, the absolutely righteous marine will finally judge your sins. Sengoku squirmed his whole body, trying to reawaken the power of the muscles in his body, and then reactivate his devil fruit ability, he struggled to stand up tremblingly. Vomiting. Kneeling and vomiting blood directly on the ground. Yeah, just kneel for me, kneel for me, you, you are enough. Garp looked at Sengoku who was lingering, his eyes were beginning to fill with tears. Yeah, kneel to me, kneel. Ha ha ha. World government, marine, absolute justice. Let's go back to the countryside to grow sweet potatoes. What Chin Luo hates most is marine, and their seniors do whatever they want. A single demon killing order can wipe out all the people in an entire village or even on an island. Judging from the things recorded in the text of a hundred years of history, it is all the history of the founding of the nation that has accumulated bloody massacres. So no matter how miserable Sengoku is today, he is actually confessing and redeeming the sins of those who died tragically under the demon killing order. Luyun, you stop me. Otherwise I will kill Roger. Suddenly a roar came from the top of the platform. Everyone's eyes were already attracted by the two figures of Chin Luo and Sengoku. They did not expect that at this time, someone shouted loudly from the 460 high platform behind them. Where is the brat, dare to provoke this uncle? Chin Luo turned around and saw Roger, who was supposed to be unsupervised on the high platform. At this time, he had been killed by two people wearing justice cloaks without knowing why. People caught it straight away. Advertisement. On the top of Roger's neck, there were two sabers which were pointed straight against the collarbone. If you dare to do it, Lousy will kill all of you marines, and throw them into the sea to feed the sea kings. Lu Yun was furious. He didn't expect that these people would still play insidious tricks even if they couldn't beat them, using Roger's life and death. Threaten me. If there is a seed, you can do it, you give me a try. Chin Luo said angrily. But he didn't know that the two young zombies had already seen Garp's move to kill Roger, so the two men raised their sabers and fell directly into the air. Puff. Stabbed in. The blood stayed out of Roger. The red blood seemed to be a blooming flaming lotus, but Roger did not even groan. He was such a strong man. Luyun, get out of Logue Town. Luyun, get out of Logue Town. Luyun, you calamity get out of Logue Town. At the beginning of the scene, the marines began to cheer, and then the pirates wailed because the people above began to torture Roger again. Chapter 258. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Roger stood on the high platform. Although he was seriously injured, he was originally a strong man. The injury and pain did not affect his attention to the situation on the court. He had already heard that there was a pirate letting him. 
Chin Luo left directly. He didn't understand why these people succumbed to these tormentors. Like him, the reason why he surrendered was because he had bigger dreams. He needed to endure the humiliation, but the people below didn't need it. They only needed to raise the sword in their hands and say no to Marine. You are for your treasure, you should not drive Lu Yun, because only Lu Yun knows where the treasure is. And my death does not matter anymore, you go to the sea to find. Fame, the treasure is all at the end of the Grand Line. One Piece Roger roared frantically, and the two Marine Command sword that passed through his body were shaken by the excited Roger, and the sharp sword fell deep into it again. Woo, One Piece, some of the people who originally stood watching were people who had known One Piece before. They were already going crazy at this time. They didn't expect One Piece to be so tortured and still ask them not to convection the cloud. Do it. Roger. Some of them are people who have followed Roger all his life, and they blurted out when they saw such a scene. Captain. In the crowd, a red-nosed clown-like person also overcame his timidity and shouted that on the high platform was his former captain and his eternal captain. Roger. Don't do stupid things. Chin Luo seems to have seen through the thoughts of the man named Roger on the high platform. Roger must never do stupid things at this time. As long as Roger does not do stupid things, he can pretend to surrender. Then approached Roger, rescued Roger, and then killed all the remaining Marines. They could directly board Marines' ships and set sail. The only worry is that Roger gave up his life. It's not that I haven't seen such a thing. There are a lot of bloody plots on the TV series. Just like in the One Piece anime, Roger's son Ace is not a model of death. However, if there is a son, there must be a father. This truth, no matter what age or when tragedies occur, is always so similar. Advertisement. Pouch. The excited pirate King Roger stood up. He decided not to kneel on the high platform, but to stand up. Taking advantage of the fact that the two young Zuo didn't react at all, he directly hit the two sword with his body. The blood stained the red cloak on his body. Just as the most brilliant color in the world is red, he also used his life and all his spirit to render the reddest cloak in the world the One Piece cloak. A long time later, the red cloak was spreading in the world of pirates. When you met a person wearing a red cloak, it means that this person is a man of iron and bone worthy of socializing. But this is something later, so I won't mention it for now. Roger. One Piece. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Captain. My Captain. The crowd seemed to be a bomb that had been ignited, and it exploded almost in the next second. Some people in the crowd cheered, some were sad, and some were in pain. Suddenly, people's situation has become extremely exaggerated polarization. The vicious big pirate finally died. This world will finally be peaceful for a while compared to before. The grand line is going to end here again. Let's celebrate with a good meal, and then sleep peacefully. The world government once again saved the world. Advertisement. The cheering people enjoyed the carnival. The sad people hide in the corner, sad and even crying. Roger. Chin Luo yelled frantically, hesitating, annoyed, regretful, and angry. What he is hesitating is why Roger finally chose to die, live and then go to the strongest peak. Isn't that good? He was annoyed and hated that he had not discovered the pessimism behind Roger's heroism earlier. He regretted it because he could not save this man of temperament. He is angry. He glanced around. That is, the people in these surroundings caused the dear and respectable elder in front of him to be slandered, wronged, and directly killed by them. Roger's suicide was directly and indirectly due to those marine, Sengoku, Garp, and such unnamed small fish and shrimps. Of course, there are ordinary people who Chin Luo just said to give them a way out. They don't understand the pioneers. They are ignorant. When their pioneers were locked on the high platform, they were indifferent and waited until the pioneer died. At the time, they even celebrated, these squatters. Garp looked at everything in front of him in frustration. Roger is dead. What does this mean? It means that the only person who can threaten the angry lion in front of him is gone. No one can lock this lion anymore. This is definitely history. The scariest person ever. Garp glanced at Chin Luo now, and saw a terrifying look in his eyes. What kind of eyes were they, cold and angry? Cruel. Lore. Advertisement. My life is over. Garp sighed and glanced at the Sengoku who was lying on the ground and gasping for breath across from him. Sengoku, who was dying, opened his eyes again at this time, and with this old friend Garp who had followed him for countless years in the South and North Wars, silently glanced at each other, seeing despair in each other's eyes. Both of them seemed to have a tacit glance, and made a decision. They decided to fight until the last drop of blood ran out, and they would never let Luyun kill all of their men. You, 
You are all going to die. Qin Luo said silently in his heart, attacking at full level. A strong energy erupted from his body, and he hadn't used the full level energy for a long time, because from the beginning to the end, no one had ever forced him to use up his whole body's power. But this time, although no one forced him, he still used it. Shu, it flickered like a ray of light. Garp and Sengoku, who were staring at Chin Luo, became heavy, because Chin Luo, who was still standing there, disappeared in the blink of an eye. When they reacted, they just heard the high platform, ah. There were two exclamations that were too late to scream. Sengoku and Garp rushed to look over, but their eyes were not as fast as Chin Luo's figure. Their eyes could not catch Chin Luo's figure. Stop. When the two of them could see, they just saw that the heads of the two Xiaozuo had been grabbed by Chin Luo's left and right hands. Chapter 259. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Ah, although Garp is not confident that his iron fist can kill his opponent with one punch, if the opponent thinks he can hit himself with a single blow, it is a foolish dream. The two of them have already punched each other. The energy in their hands is equal. Garp is determined in his heart. Now even if it is a blackened Shin Luo, he has only increased his strength by a few points, but he may not be able to. You can defeat yourself. Of course, obviously, the results tell us that Garp is overconfident. Two iron fists, a black iron ball, and a white, tender involved fist, engulfed by the sound of bursting wind, caused pressure and vibrations around it, shaking waves in circles. Advertisement. Bump. Chin Luo only felt that his eardrums seemed to be directly pressed by a strong pressure, and there was a buzzing tinnitus in his ears, but this did not affect Chin Luo, the full-scale barbaric power in his hands. It is definitely not something that Garp can knock down with a half-handed iron fist. An explosive energy spread out from the place where the two people touched, and the vibrating waves continued to collide and interweave to form a circle that squeezed each other, not letting each other pass. Roger, this is the world you hate. Let me destroy it for you. This is the shackles you hate, let me break it for you. Maybe there are many injustices and hidden history in this world, as long as I with a full-scale iron fist in my hand, I can use my powerful wrist to maintain the justice of this world and the faith you trust. Garp. Death. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Chin Luo suddenly made a weird action at this moment. He actually contracted the power in his hand first. This is the most taboo thing in the process of confronting each other with power. The two of them go all out to fight power. The person who retreats beforehand will definitely be shaken by the shock wave of power, which will cause abnormal heart and blood, and even go crazy. After all, it is really too much power. It is powerful, and it can cause concussion. Chin Luo's action is undoubtedly looking for death. Garp whispered in his heart, but he can't do it again. From the moment he punches, he has no turning back. This punch is all he has. Advertisement. However, Chin Luo is undoubtedly a full-level fighter with super high combat talent and super combat effectiveness. He actually took the lead in completing the compression jump in such a powerful shock wave, and performed a double frog jump. Isn't this the equivalent of a rocket equipped with a first stage accelerator and a second stage accelerator, and then it is the same as the traditional rocket propelled by only one-time fuel? The effect is obvious. The gongs and drums of the battle rang again, but this time it seems that the goddess of victory has supported Chin Luo without any suspense. Chin Luo was pushed out by his second acceleration, he could only hold his breath to withstand the surging pressure, and poured it directly into the heart of the man named Iron Fist Garp in front of him like a bullet. Perhaps after today, Tekken Garp can no longer be called Tekken Garp, at most it is Garp, because the name of Tekken no longer belongs to Garp, but belongs to Chin Luo. No, it belongs to Lu Yun. Belongs to the thin young man named Lu Yun known by the Shanghai thieves in this world. Advertisement. Pouch. The desperate Iron Fist Garp made a big bet. He never thought that even if he failed in the end, he still didn't see this stinky boy named Lu Yun using armament hockey. If this person used armament hockey, he must be this pair. Iron Fist can hit the world's invincible hand. However, Garp didn't know that Lu Yun's pair of fists had already evolved at full level, and there was no one in this world who could face Lu Yun head to head. Chin Luo blasted the Garp directly from his chest with a fist. The sharp fist front had already split the clothes on his chest in a crisscross shape, and a burst of bright red blood spouted directly above the heart. Garp seemed to be a kite with a broken line flying frantically in midair, pattering, and directly breaking the shackles that symbolized oppression, breaking the high platform that symbolized the stern hierarchy, and still flying. Still breaking the shackles that envelop this small town. If everything has become a shackle, no matter how beautiful these shackles are, one day the awakened people will begin to break from every inch of him. 
Chapter 260. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Ah, the high platform has fallen. Run away. The person who had been by the high platform started to run away quickly. They just came to watch a scene today, not here to die. However, in a corner where they rushed out frantically, there was a back figure walking backwards. The direction of this person's walking was different from the direction of those frantically fleeing. He was walking towards the high platform. This person was wearing a black outfit, with a wistful smile on his face, as if nothing at this moment had anything to do with him. If Lu Yun saw this person at this time, he would know that this person was actually Grower. Grower is not a simple pirate. He is a pirate with a bounty of more than 600 million, and he is also a bounty hunter. He has a wide range of friends, but he can eat both black and white. Not only did he sell Marines intelligence to the Revolutionary Army, he collected various information about the pirates from the Revolutionary Army, and then went to capture the pirates to Marine and receive rewards from Marine. It can be said that there have been many famous big pirates who fell into his hands in the past few years. As early as five years ago, Jack, a pirate clone who was more famous than Roger at the time, was betrayed by him and then worked with Marine to capture the clone Jack. Otherwise, with the ability to clone Jack, where could anyone in the world be able to catch it? Live him. The purpose of Grower's coming here today is definitely not simple. Roger is a thorn in the eyes of Marine. As long as he can sneak away Roger's body today, he can guarantee that he can blackmail out a bounty from Marine in the future, or get some more. The information needed by the Revolutionary Party, sold backhandedly, is another large sum of money. Others are greedy when they are fearful, and others are greedy when they are greedy. This is the motto of the pirates and bounty hunters, intelligence expert Grower, who offers a reward of 600 million but can remain at large. Advertisement. He had been watching what happened here just now, and he was going to sneak away Roger's body now. The high platform seemed to him to be broken, and the body of Roger, the once smashing pirate king, was lying in the ruins of the high platform. Drink. The area of the ruins immediately formed an energy circle, and everything in the energy circle rolled over again as if it had been divided and organized, and was directly blown into dust. I don't know how Grower did it. After all, this ability seems to be stronger than the ability of Trafalau, the later scalpel fruit. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Withdraw. A word was ejected from Grower's mouth, and then the circle quickly disappeared, but there were no so-called waste debris on the spot. Roger's body had appeared on the ground, his whole body was full of blood, and there was still on Roger's shoulders. Two sword are inserted. The handles on the two sword have been wiped out by Grower. Luyun, Luyun, vain your fame, but unfortunately you can't compare to my wisdom. Some people always think that as long as the strong strength of friends can make the world obey your command, they don't know the will of God. Can people be shaken casually? Five elders are just the spokesperson of celestial dragons. Celestial dragons also have strong people who are not known to the outside world. In addition to the strong, they have mysterious weapons, even more powerful than the magic killer. A terrifying meat grinder. Grau couldn't help but admire his wisdom. If there is anyone in this world who has seen the text of the world besides the cold corpse on the ground, then the people who have seen it must include Grower. Of course, he hasn't seen it directly. All kinds of things he saw and heard and the intelligence he obtained through his own channels and channels were combined to speculate. Advertisement. The celestial dragons that I see on weekdays are definitely not the core of celestial dragons. On the contrary, they are just the rice worms of celestial dragons. They are just smoke bombs released by celestial dragons. Let's go. Go where you should go. Grower sneered, and rolled up the body of Roger one piece and turned around to unfold a complicated circle. Suddenly, a strong breath of death enveloped Grau crazily. It was a burst of intense hatred that could give off a terrifying aura, so Grau had the opportunity to sneak away with the body of Roger, the Pirate King. He wanted to stop the movement in his hands, put down Roger's body and leave first, but it was too late. Chin Luo had already locked his breath. Grid. Labor. Child. Chin Luo's roar came from behind, and this kid dared to make small moves behind his back, I told you, don't do any small moves in front of me. Lu Yun, others call you Lu Yun God Tier, but do you think he'll be afraid of you? Grower still maintained a slouchy appearance, turning around to converge the power fluctuations on his body, he I've heard of Lu Yun's ability a long time ago. But he is not afraid now, because Roger is this person's weakness. However, even if Roger is a corpse now, he is still in his hands. He can make Shin Luo throw a rat trap. Advertisement. If you beg me now, I'll still have a way out for you. Shin Luo just beat the grandson Garp in front of him, 
this kid dare to instruct the left and right Xiao Zuo to catch Roger and threaten him. Zero. He can't wait for others to threaten him the most in his life. I beg you now. Don't laugh. Everyone is an adult. I'm begging you. If you change your hands, you will break my neck. I only want to talk with you on an equal footing now. That's because my strength. Grower said arrogantly. Huh. You don't deserve to sit on an equal footing with me. Even if you are pouring tea and handing water, I think your appearance is annoying. Chin Luo sneered. Knowing the times is a good man. It is not rare for me to sit on an equal footing with you. I will give you this Roger's body now, but I will have to wait for me to go far. Grower can be said to be the closest and clearest to Roger's situation. Grower had felt Roger's undetectable tremor just now. Although his devil fruit is not the fruit of a scalpel, any life form within his ability can be crushed by him, as long as he is moved by his mind. So he just noticed that Roger did not completely die, so he made up his mind. If he tells Chin Luo the news, Chin Luo will not be able to chase him down. Seeing Chin Luo's strength, Grower will knowing that even if he wins, it would definitely be injured on both sides. Because this stinky boy in front of him will only be able to fight hard, such a person is just a reckless man, who is not enough to look at in front of his Grower, a little trick can make the other party deep in the quagmire. 